She's like, I want to wait every day. Then. All right, so a group of adventurers knows what it wants to do. It wants to explore the ruins of uh, the castle, so to speak, where strange events have taken place and half-eaten bodies have been found outside of it. Mm, sounds like yeah, a yeah, problem. I don't want to put, like make fun of your accent, but it just sounded like elf Eden bodies were there, which <laughs> yeah, is such a different image. It could be that too, elf Eden and half Eden. I sure, mean, it is an ancient elf place, wasn't it? Or something yes, like that? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, also yeah. that, that, that technically, technically works. And also, and do consider that uh, in certain uh, elven cultures, like dwarf fortress, elves are corpse eaters. Yeah. So. Dwarf Fortress is a good game, though. Yikes, man. Why? Because, um, uh, because a bug, it's uh, natural. It's natural to be a cannibal. Uh, More like a wave. it's a funny quirk where dwarves actually have uh, the eating stuff uh, pinned down, and so they know what to eat and what not to eat. Elves didn't, so they kind of ended up cannibalizing people. And uh, then the developer just rolled with it and left the elves as, uh, as corpse eaters. They also eat other yes. stuff, but they don't disagree about, uh, you know. Yeah, like, I'm going to take the roasted pork with the side of dwarf. Stuff like that. <laughs> so, oh, with that being that said, be before stepping into what will what might be your upcoming doom, do you want to get any stuff, any equipment, any, you know... Yeah, just replenishing the usual equipment. Uh, I assume that Shafnium has bought, like, loads of rope. Yes. I mean, he hangs <laughs> himself often enough. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be like, okay, let's get some of that, and then, uh, yeah, process of health. Ten foot poles, maybe. <laughs> Do we need ten foot poles? I'm not going to be telling you what you need or not. <laughs> <laughs> Do they fold up at least? So potions of health. That's uh, so potions of health. Uh, uh, potions of healing, actually. So. Let's see, because those are actually price guide. So the potion of healing, the normal one is 50 gold coins. The greater is 200, the superior 2000, and the supreme 20,000. 20,000 gold for a potion? The supreme get, like, potion of, of healing. Ones. Listen, okay, don't buy that. I can just heal you. I mean, if I'm gonna drink a potion that's worth 20,000 gold, I'd better turn into gold in order to make up for the expense. I mean, okay. it's 10 d4s yeah, plus 20 enough. hit points for supreme healing. So, healing is 50, and greater healing is 200. Who's selling it? Is it Ebrio who's selling it? No, Ebrio no, is a scribe. It's a boss of the human who hates bandits. He's like, oh, yeah, right. I've got a stock of those, so they last longer while I torture them to know where their friends are. Uh, Man. Sorry. Wow. Okay. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty hot. Hey, chef. Um, chef. Uh, yeah. I'm not too good with a talkie thing, but do you think you could, like, convince him to part ways with it for for more than the usual price. Don't you mean for less? I mean, I bet I could definitely converse I could convince I did any just merchant that I'm not good. to part with more. No, more, more of the potions than the, <laughs> If you want than to you pay the price. more. You want, you want me to I just said I'm not man. good at the talky thing, so. Alright, tell you what, let's, let's talk with this man. Here, I'll, I'll walk with you, okay? We can, we can do this together. Where is he? Well, he's standing in front of you. He's behind oh, the counter. Because he went to his shop. Yeah. Yes. All right. So Shafnim gives him a gives him a quick look. Uh, what can I glean from this man's home life, just from looking at him? <laughs> so give his me. His family is dead. <laughs> yes. So give me an insight check. All 
right. Be an intelligence this. check to see if he remembers. <laughs> I mean, you kind of looks at him and his whole family is dead. Shut up. So, you <laughs> gleam into a life of a man that used to have a family and a pretty child and when the bandits came and killed them in front of his eyes burned them alive <laughs> while he barely escaped with his life and his entire Jesus heart fuck. is now dedicated to the singular crusade in which he will li listen to the screams of a dying bandits as the sweetest of symphonies throughout his life and as till he has brought enough bastards to hell he will not rest and know no mercy holy okay, so fuck so Shafnim, uh, so Shafnim, he's rubbing his chin and he, uh, he looks at this guy and says, you know, being adventurers, we, uh, just got finished murdering a whole bunch of bandits that probably went about and pillaged and raped, but, wow, we were really injured once we were done. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep going out and murdering bandits left and right. I, I just, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep going out and hunting down all these family murdering maniacs. But, so... Uh, Give me a Jeez. persuasion check with advantage. <sighs> what, well, like? <laughs> yeah. well, well, this is a very difficult choice. Yes! Mm. <laughs> 12 or 12? Mm. I still have inspiration. Can I use that? Ah, but it's, again? Uh, I mean, it's fine. It's, uh, I mean, the check was really low once you said family murdering bandits, so... All right. So he looks at you and goes, you know what, you're right, those, uh, y you adventurers are what cleanses the filth out of this world. So, you know what, if for every greater healing potion you buy, I'll add two lesser healing potions to the deal for free. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. Deal. Honestly, I will yeah. take two greater healing potions. So he hands you two greater healing potions and four smaller healing ones. I gave him 400 GP. He takes them and goes, Now yeah. remember, keep on murdering the bastards! Will do. And if you bring some of them alive back here, I would so enjoy having nice talks with them. He says while playfully uh, grabbing a poker from the nearby fire and just, you know, looking at it. Yes, I'd have right. nice, yeah. happy talks with them. Then put Playfully. Them, We're going to have poker. to look for branded bandits on the countryside, aren't we? Eh. I'm sure we'll come across them. <laughs> we'll find them. We'll find them. <laughs> Eventually. Alright. So, anything else any of you wants to buy? Or it's time for the place where every dream goes to die? Uh, oh, that rhymed. I know. Uh, uh, I, how I, much was the button worth? Sorry. The? The button card. How much was it worth? I swear, I, I, I cannot hear you. He said uh, platinum uh, coin. Ah, a platinum coin is 10 gold coins. Uh, okay, okay. I just want to check something. Okay, cool. So if I gave him 10 uh, platinum, I can get uh, for that 100, so I can... Mm, yeah, or you can give him 20 and you can get one greater healing and two smaller healing. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to give him a 20 platinum for a greater healing. And, and uh, Alright, he gives you a greater healing potion and two lesser healing potions. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Alright. So then, it is time, adventurers. You step into the ruins of a castle which stand uh, overlooking uh, and kind of half absorbed, really, by Dusk Sprouse district. There are uh, shacks made of, wooden, of wood and mud that surround uh, this uh, area, but they are few and sparse, as if uh, the people really would rather be elsewhere, but have no choice, because uh, in the end, space uh, is what it is, uh, and so... Reluctantly, some have built their houses near these ruins of a castle. As you step through the broken and rusty gate, you hear faint whispers in the air. It's uh, elfish, and it whispers to your ears, Go away! You are not welcomed here! Leave Excuse the dead me? to rest! And then the voices goes away. 
Ah, what a nice welcoming place. I mean, you must be very used to treating that as a welcome, Ravi. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> like, thousand miles stairs, go away, Ravi! This isn't your dinner, now leave! <laughs> Alright, here we go, being professional exorcists. So, Shafnium takes a second to step outside and uh, urinate on the door, and then he turns and uh, walks straight out. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> the the upper side of the castle is actually crumbled into a massive ruin that holds no kind of entrance whatsoever. However, on the side of the courtyard, there are a set of stone stairs that probably led to the cellar of the place. On the upper right. left. Upper um, left. Yes. Oh, can we yes, just we take a look and see if there's any uh, windows that look accessible? No, like the, the entire upper part has, has collapsed on itself. It's like a pile of rubble that's remained there because even the people around don't have uh, the courage to grab stuff from the ruins. Like, okay. when I'm saying ruins, I'm not saying like there's a wall left standing. It's even less than that. So basically it's just a cellar. It's yeah, kind of it's a basically right. one uh, stairway that leads to what probably was the cellar of a castle. Nice. Okay, um, I assume the black area is where we can't see anything. Exactly. So, on can the upper, I, like, upper left of the map. Yeah, can I, like, light up a torch and throw it down? Uh, sure, and uh, you see the light stops uh, over here. I mean, just give me a second, I'll just throw your characters in and uh, then you can uh, suffer. No, wait, this is the deceased has. We need the still living. Yes. We need the still <laughs> li living one. Yeah, hold on, let me get, let me get the real one. So... Alright, and you're all in, so to speak. There you go. So, it's a long corridor that ends uh, with a sharp turn to the right uh, and what appears to be a dead end with a stone uh, door of sorts which has words scribbled on it. Is it Elvish? It's actually written in common. Alright. Uh, oh... Oh no! Oh, boy. oh Jesus! Him again? Fuck! Oh God, who is it? It sure it's that is fucking it. lich. <laughs> fucking God! It's your senpai. <laughs> All right, let me hit zoom and I'll just read this. The lies ahead <laughs> of you are my personal, private chambers. I am sure as this archmage so of the excited. unfathomable arcane secrets of this world. I have no need to be coy or play games the likes of you. Adventurers may enjoy. Uh, da, 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 da. Patient and willing to learn. Uh, destroy the plunderers and explore. You're not ready for it. You the threshold of my sanctuary. You stand at the bottom of a complicated ladder that reaches beyond the scopes of the mere human mortality. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. That's a metal gear joke. Yeah, if you I got it. <laughs> if you seek the to be my student, defeated by us, nothing we shall hear your plea and put you to the test. If you seek to be my allies, we shall discuss the thing. If you seek to be my foes, you shall die to stop my ascension into that which is unfathomable and powerful. Then know that you will be stopped and that I shall triumph. Okay, so this is where he turned into a lich. Probably, yeah. right? Good. You yeah, get an inspiration yeah. point if you don't already have one. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Jesus, I know what happened. Alright, and they managed to uh, apparently kick this guy out and... Uh, well, I mean, evidently not stop him, but yeah. They might have destroyed the body. Disarmed, no, I think they going. killed him, but uh, they didn't destroy his phylactery. So they thought he was dead, but he was on the leech. Man. 
question though, Shade. Do I recognize the hastily written writing below? No, like you do not. It is uh, clearly in a different hand, but it's uh, none that you recognize. Um, is there anyone or like group of adventurers who claim to have killed Shurazund? Mm, not that you know of. I mean, Shurazund is known for having died of old age after leaving mm. behind his city as a testament of what arcane might could do. This is something everyone knows. So, if a group of adventurers had actually killed him, it would have made the rounds. Hmm. Though, obviously, they might have died before. Well, no, but it doesn't it take a while for a lich to come back? Mm, I mean, Shurazen likely faked his death. Honestly. I, that is another <laughs> reason to get an inspiration point, Shafnium, but you already have one, so you're not getting another. Ah, oh, goddamn. <laughs> It's fine. I'm Do you know what I think? Because in, in the warn that initial warning, it says that we could be one of three things. His students, his allies, or his foe. Would it be possible that that hastily scrolled, you know, that thing down below is someone who chose to be his ally? And is like, maybe they have like a, a, an agreement. They stop people from going through and Shirazun like finances them or something? Uh, I think... That's maybe we're getting a bit too much into it. Maybe. Well, I, I think the adventurers killed him, in quote marks, and then they realized that, you know what, it's no use just telling people that uh, shit is there, or they put the, or they found treasure but it's cursed, and they're like, we're going to put this thing here, and uh, we're going to come back at it later eventually, and we're going to take the treasure, but let's just put this here just in case people get what if the thieves and bandits who came and looted this place were completely honest for once and were actually warning people not to come back? Well, in any case, yeah. it's pretty clear that we're going to take everything that's not nailed down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty clear. Right. We're just you know, going to rob this fucking this place. This is the lair of a leech, which means undead and uh, traps are dead. Yeah, but um, I'm a cleric, so... Ah, yes, exactly. And that's why Jake told us we need a cleric for this dungeon. No, no. But anyway, the door in front of you, because it's uh, clearly a door of stone, does not hold a handle of swords. Um, the stone I does look we, brittle, I think, though. I um, think not, uh, no, we'll not break it. I think we have to say that we either seek to be his students or his allies, and the door will open. Oh, we just so smash it open. Like, if you I seek, say to be that, my, seek to be my sh students, I shall hear your plea. Yeah. If you seek to be my uh, hold on, let me send a message to Shirazin real quick. No, 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 by all means. No, 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 no. that means he's gonna spy us and then he's gonna fucking see what we are. He's gonna know Some what we're up need to, to be relearned. Yeah. All right. Mm. I wonder he if has... I can. I wonder if I can scry him without him figuring out. No. Probably not, no. <laughs> I mean, if your scrying doesn't man. fail by principle. I mean, I mean I've mean, i met the guy. I've yes. actually talked to him. I have a very... There are good... spells and magic items against scrying. Right, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay. Uh, I think let's say this. Alright, I'm going to try this. I seek to be your ally. Oh god, why did you do that? You hear a soft set of clicks as the door in front of you slides to the side and opens, revealing what appears to be a chamber where a rusty, blood-soaked carpet stands in front of the door. And a rumbling noise echoes in the far-off distance. Please wait says uh, this strange rumbling voice. Yeah. I think you might have fucked us a little bit, Ravindal. Uh, that's why I put myself in front so you guys can run. Alright, by all means, step onto the bloodstained carpet, Ravi. I'm just gonna stand here and wait. No, no, I'm in front of you, like I'm right outside the can door. I can I, can I, I'm just gonna ask, um, uh, Ravi, can you, can you, like, nudge just slightly away for a bit? There you go. Thanks. Um, can I s check if the blood is 
recent or the blood is actually recent oh jeez can i tell how recent give me a medicine check It's actually fresh. Less than an hour. Maybe less than two hours. Oh, okay. No. Someone bled on this less than two hours ago. Mm. Please I wait. The, the, rum the rumbling voice grows slightly closer. I am coming. Please wait. So you wrong. see yeah. on the upper side what appears to be a shimmering wall of force. On the other hand, you also notice... Uh, but there are two doors, one on one side and one on the lower side. However, you notice that there are four strange looking circles made of four different uh, ob uh, materials and each of them is glimmering with arcane runes. Do I recognize them? I think I remember that Surazun had the similar circles in his... Uh uh, quarters in uh, Shurazun. I mean, the only one who know that would be the only one who actually stepped inside his personal quarters, and that one would be Hess. All right, Hess, um, you want to do some investigation <coughs> for us? Exactly, will, that's why. Why we'll investigate? So Hess steps inside, and as she puts her feet on the carpet, nothing oh, happens. <laughs> The voice instead keeps grow keeps growing a bit more stronger and rumbling. Please wait on the assigned area. Do not go around. And the uh, was is it inside or investigation? It's uh well it's investigation or an arcana check. I'm gonna do arcana uh, well, check. Well, I suck at both, but let's see. Also, since you're. Uh, can Guys, I give her my inspiration? Uh, don't, oh. No, don't, don't worry about it. So, uh, Ravendiel, you have to step uh, either inside the room uh, or somewhere where you can actually see the things. Uh, because okay, from back where you are, you're not seeing anything. <laughs> so, okay, I squeeze a bit from uh, post to see the room. Alright, so you do notice uh, uh, that they're clearly magical. And that's all. Ravandia, the magic yeah. circles of sort. Yes, we are pretty circles of sort. Please Glad wait. I am coming. <laughs> Please wait. The voice rumbles. It is once more closer. It appears uh, to be coming from the upper side, though. Can we tell I mean, how close? Like you imagine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, per 5, 35 feet away. But it is moving uh, quite slowly, judging by the voice. Okay, uh, if it's 35 feet away, can I, look at, can I look through that side and see them? Wait, can you look through here and, well, yes, you could. Yeah, like, there doesn't seem to be anything. Yeah, it's here. just a wall of uh, force, but it's way, it's a... Uh, not, uh, it doesn't hide, so it is, it, you can see through it. Please wait. I am coming. The, you hear the rumbling of a door behind you starting to creak to a close. Ravandil, you have to choose. Either you go back or you go forth. Or you get smashed. It's your call. I get forth. So, Shaf, Newman, and Donner, you both see the door is starting to close. What do you do? Uh, I pick up Donner and I uh, carry him through. I mean, <clears throat> Donner, do you want to go through the door or do you want to stay behind? I'll, I'll get dragged Bridal through. carry. All right. Yeah. Bridal <laughs> carry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in front <laughs> of... <laughs> Donner, <laughs> please stay behind the other tank. I am coming. Please wait. Please Thanks. wait. Please wait. So, from beyond the wall of shimmering force, you see what appears to be a stone face, which glances at you all and grumbles in its voice. Who, whom are you seeking? My master? One of his apprentices? The voice grumbles in this kind of mechanical way. 
Yes, we're seeking your master Surazun. He seeks no one yet. Who are you? I am uh, Ravendil Silverhand. I am uh, the uh, descendant of a friend of his, uh, Doe Falconhand. Does the name ring a bell? The stone says, please wait. I shall notify the master. Shit, why is it sure to this evil lich, but he makes really shitty computers? I mean, for the time period, what more can you expect? I mean, he, he hid inside of a theme park for hundreds of years, in effect. So, True. That's, that's what his city is. The elemental city is just fucking Epcot. Okay. So, you hear a click as the door below you opens. Please be careful. Do not step on the teleportation cycles while I go call the master. <laughs> I checked That's... the door. The door is actually <laughs> open. It opens as you near it, revealing uh, what appeared to once be a waiting room of sorts, which is now left in ruins. Hmm. Uh, is that blood on that? No, no, wait a minute. No, it's the red lines of. Uh... Doom. You know what? You, I'll, I'll, like... I'll be a nice guest. I'll start mending some of these things up. <laughs> All I'll right. Help. Just gonna get my hammer out and some nails. So, and, uh... Hess, do you stay behind on a blood soaked carpet? Oh, actually, does the book uh, soak up the blood? Actually, it does. It actually uh, doesn't. Oh, no. No, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just follow the fire. So, as you move through, the door behind you closes with another click. The broken furniture gets repaired slightly by pose. And then uh, it gets fully repaired. And so you actually have some comfortable resting places. Beyond cool. this door, which is not a door as much as an archway, you see a long corridor that seems to continue, <coughs> and what appears to be a humanoid figure of sorts really? standing uh, just past sight. It's like you kind of see him and also kind of don't see him. <laughs> you would have to go through the archway. And, uh, uh, however, atop of it, you read the words written in common. Wait for your turn to be summoned. Mm, yeah, I think I know. <coughs> Probably wait. Oh, On God. the other hand, through this door, which is still closed, give me all a perception check. One sec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, yeah! And I roll all six with advantage on wisdom check, so at twenty, baby. So rather, uh, yeah, you pre pretty much everyone, but post. Hold on, I have not done it yet, all but right. I think I will do great. And now it's uh, a double one. And... All right, so everyone but pose. You all hear the sweet, gentle murmuring of water rippling in what appears to be a puddle of sorts. As you hear it, it keeps growing stronger, kind of. And it seeps through the room. While Pose, on the other hand, doesn't hear anything. I'm just mending this uh, yes. chair and the table and that uh, uh -oh, guy. shelf. Can someone I... pass me, like, a hammer or something? Ah, yeah, sure, I got one. Guys, I think this what I think they're trying to drown us. Drown? Like the no. causes of this Actually, no. wait, I know the furniture looks waterlogged shade, like it's been. Uh... No, it doesn't. I mean, if there had been water, it probably dried out years ago. Yeah, mm. but the wood the, the wood's in rotten. Like, no, uh, the wooden water. door appears to be actually pristine and lacquered, as if it had been freshly replaced. Fucking wizards. Okay, um, uh, can I open this door here? So, <coughs> I mean, you can open the door, you just put the handle down and the door swings open. As it okay. does, you see in front of you what appears to be a fountain, probably, 
nestled against the wall, maybe oh, to wash someone's that. hands or whatever. Oh. You also see a dark splotch of blood against the opposite side of a wall. And give me another perception check, Ravandil. Okay, one sec. Come on. Come on. Oh. I don't have advantage, so it's... Alright. Well then, you actually hear two voices speaking in low whispers. One has... A uh, mo a more strong S to its words. The other instead uh, doesn't. I cannot believe my sisters would be such enthralled by such a creature. And the other voice goes, Well, you're the one who followed them. What more do you want from me to say? I don't know. I don't know at all. But... This cannot stand. Why not? The other voices say. <laughs> Just pass me no. the, the, the salt while you're at it. What do you need the salt for? I don't know. I'm going to try it uh, together with this potion and see if maybe it tastes better than, you know, dirty dish rag water. Are you sure you should be experimenting with such things? Why not? It's just adding salt. What's the worst that could happen anyway? And then they died. And then you keep on hearing the mumbling going on. Uh, that is... The sound came from here, from the lower side. Oh no. Okay, then the guys that I just heard the noise that was probably a snake man, like you know, the guys from the cult. And it came from the way that the ominous uh, puddle of blood is. All right, so who here is interested in murdering cult members, and who here is interested in uh, waiting for Shurazun's uh, machine people to come and meet us? I'm in War picture. or murder? <laughs> I, I've been missing some... Some 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 heads on my daily murder quota, you see. Mm. Yeah, we, we probably would be considered decent guests if we went out and killed a bunch of cult members that were uh, hiding out in one of Shurzin's castles. Oh yeah, that too, I suppose. Guys, let's not go with murder. I'm going to go and stealthily check these people out, see if they might be friendly. I know, I know, I know. We haven't met. But bring someone actually, with you who's a uh, bring somebody with you who's subtle and quiet. Uh, take paws with you. She can transform into a mouse and hide in your uh, hood. Yeah, okay. I guess so. And then you can throw her out in front of your enemies and go, go, pose. I choose you. Okay. Oh, wait. I yeah, do it. Turn into a mouse and climb up to like Ravendil's uh, okay. cloak. Good. All right, All right. Ravi. Uh, Staff check. Be very quiet. Okay. Be very, very, very quiet. I'm Give us a so uh... Give us a stealth okay, check. Uh, oh, yes. All right, right. Sure. Yeah. One sec. I think we have advantage. Yeah, have because I'm a ranger. Yes. Let's see now. Good, Good thing you have advantage. Okay. So, you step quietly. Now, let me see. Will I actually manage to hear you? Who knows? Who truly knows? So... So, alright, this is one, and this is the other. So, let's see. So, one has... I mean, he could, he, he probably might, so, the number one person in the hidden room rolls a four, he hears nothing. The second one, instead, rolls, oh well, it rolls a plus four, but will he manage? He does! So, Ravendir, you quietly sneak all the way to here because otherwise you're not seeing anything 
Okay, uh, when we move a token, here I think. Right? Uh, no, you have to go one square further, or you cannot read, or you do not see what's inside the room. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The moment you now, uh, yeah, there. The moment you cross the archway, you see that there's a human mage working uh, with some ingredients in front of him, while this large snake-like creature is hissing and looking about. However, as you step into the archway, the snake-like creature turns, looks at you, and hisses a single word. CLOSE! The moment she hisses the word, Ravandiel, give me a dexterity save. Jump back! Jump back! Exactly, that's what I'm going to... That's the dexterity save! We're specifically saying to jump back and not to jump forward. So, uh, Ravandiel, you don't have advantage on dexterity saves, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm done. So, so, as you make to jump back, unfortunately, the shimmering wall of force closes in behind you and you slam against it. You are now inside the room. The <laughs> creature looks at you and who would you be? A guest? A yes. looter? Well, the first, uh, actually. I came here to wait in the room, but I heard some noises and I had to investigate. So, um, who might you nice people be? I. I am. Uh, hiss and as she hisses out a name you clearly will never be able to pronounce. You just look at her, and she looks back at you, and then the human mage goes, uh, This is uh, his. We call her this because it's the, the easiest way we can speak. And uh, I, on the other hand, uh, am uh, the great, the mighty Marim. Nice to make your uh, acquaintance, I guess, if you're a guest, of course. You are yeah, a guest, yeah. aren't you? Of course, I was not awake, but I was a bit curious. I was uh, about the water, head. yeah, I know, I know, that's how they got me to... I mean, you hear water and you think, oh, there's got to be a toilet over there. But no, it wasn't a toilet. Okay, might I ask what you people are doing here? Well, I'm practicing my magic, and his here is just, you know, helping out. I see. May I ask what you are experimenting on? Ah, uh, just, you know, potions. Trying to make a potion of healing that doesn't taste like, you know, dishwater rags. Oh, tell me about it. You yeah, have any I idea know. <laughs> By the way, do you want to try this latest batch? He he has a potion in his hand, and uh, it is kind of bubbling. Uh, I just added salt to it. Uh, is it safe to consume? I don't know. That's why we're practicing and experimenting with it. Huh, okay. I gingerly take the potion and I, I shake. I bite on Raven. Break it. Check. So, if he puts it anywhere near his mouth, I bite him again. <laughs> so, the mage actually nears with a, a quite pacific uh, look and hands you over a bubbling potion. Well, bottoms up. Yeah, before I drink, they're going to check uh, if it's uh, with a medicine skill to see uh, if uh, it's dangerous. It's an arcana check, not a medicine check. Arcana. Yeah, it's a potion. No, I mean, so. doesn't he have like a detect poison or something? If he does, do he would have to cast the spell. Like, if he tells me he casts oh. the spell, I'll say, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah, but I mean, I was going to cast it if I failed my arcana. No, I no, it's, uh, it's probably not going to be tasty. It doesn't appear to be poisonous. Uh, it probably might just have no effect, but taste horrible. Probably. Probably. Yeah, but it's more like a 95% chance of it being just... Probably nothing. It won't taste good, but it's not poisonous. Okay, then. Well, in for a, in for a treat, in for a doubt. I drink it. It tastes horrible. Like drinking uh, sweet... The, the sweat from feet, from dirty feet, 
But except from that, it's uh, not actually poisonous. You don't feel any better. You also don't feel any worse. So, how did that taste like? The well, have you ever tasted uh, sweaty feet? No, I have not. But the fact that you have tells me a lot about your character. Well, back to the drawing board then. And he just walks back. So, salt is out. How about sugar? And he looks at him and goes, You remember last time you used sugar? You literally had to cut off two of your extra feet. And he's like, Oh, come on. Maybe this time it's different. No, it's not different. So, the his looks at you and goes, Well, anyway, if you're a guest and you're looking for the boss, uh, you're on, in the wrong direction. You have to go back up and take the second right once you're by the by the water by the water fountain then just follow the road and the last door should be it up second right or the last door yes okay uh i don't suppose you could tell me if there are any guests uh, like you aren't you i don't want to find anyone I mean we're not guests we are allies you're probably you probably want to just uh, Deliver whatever it is uh, that uh, Illy Huff asks you to deliver and then just be on your way. Yes, of course. Just, uh, you know, trying to make a good impression for my boss. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, be on your way then. She well, hisses uh, open and the door behind you, and the wall of force behind you shimmers to a close and you can now move through it. Hmm. Shade a question out of, the, out of character. Uh, yeah. If I use uh, Alter Self Transform to her, I assume she's medium size, right? No, she's uh, large. Damn it. Because I thought I could transform to her, I'll have her vocal cords so I could hiss uh, the same way she hissed and open the doors. Could I do that? Nope. I mean, you can try, but it will not work. There's something specific that's needed for that. Do I okay. see anything at the side while Ravi is passing by? No, I mean. There is another door up here and it's closed, so... Oh, okay. But, you can give me a perception check with advantage because you're a mouse. Alright. Gotta be honest, I'm not a fan of all this not killing people stuff. So, Pose, you actually smell food coming from beyond this door. <coughs> okay. And you also hear bubbling water. Is the bubbling water from here or from here? From Can here, I... because this is not like the sweet murmuring of a fountain. It's more like literally hot water boiling. Ah, okay. <coughs> I try and pull on Ravendil's ear towards that area. What is it, little pause? Uh, okay, you want to go there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, is the I door still... closed? Well, the door is closed. You don't know if it's locked, but it's just. Is there is there any like space around? Actually, the, no. The it's a closed door, but this door is made of wood, and it actually shows signs of having been subjected to extremely high temperatures because it's kind of deformed outwardly. Uh, heat metals, well, probably. Uh, but there's no like. There's no teeny tiny hole that a little mouse can, like, poke Well, it would through. depend how tiny, but no, the door still does hold on to its shape. Okay. We okay. could try opening it. The handle yeah, is there. Uh, yeah, but let's just take the, our friends and check it, you know, just in case. Sure. All right, I climb back to uh, Ravendale's hood. All right, I'm going to get back. Hey, guys. Ravi, guess what? I figured out you could probably use this bookcase as a boat. That's probably. very what? interesting, Shafnir. I just popped his head like he's a special man. I enjoy how you have these creative solutions. But now, <coughs> I need you to follow me. We found some interesting things. Oh, God. God. Okay, I think they follow me, right? Do you? You don't even know. <laughs> now you cut out there for a second. What were you saying? S S S S. Stop! Stop! What? Stop! Huh? 
Oh, you went the other way. Right. It's the other way. Well, I keep... No, Ash, no. <laughs> oh, the other other way. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, is it what I says? So, <laughs> as a... Is Shaf following? Is Shaf and Donner following? Uh, whoa. Are they? Shaf is busily tripping out and uh, following <laughs> along at a safe distance. Like, at a safe distance of how many feet? This might be important later on, so I need to know. Uh, about five feet. Alright, so you're one square away from them. Alright, so you're like basically here. So, as you're walking, however, the <coughs> really keen hearing of the creature does notice the, the noises you are making. Oi! What are you doing? I said the second right! That's the way to the kitchen! But this is the second right. No! no this right? is the second right. That's a left. That's a right. From where okay. I'm standing, that's a right. Oh, sorry. Is this a is this a left or a right for you? That's a right. You're going right. No, I'm not. I'm going left. Yes. So then go straight at the second one on the left. Is that better for you? So wait, left is right, yes, please. Yes. I think. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to be mean, but. You should yeah, probably okay, look. Is left, left right or is right right? Because it, it's got to be one I'm left sorry, or I'm right. I'm sorry, I'm So sorry. Excuse. Don't worry. Just deliver what you have to deliver to the boss, and just be on your way. And don't. Uh, do not bother Ratty. He dislikes being bothered. <coughs> right. Sorry, who? Okay. Ratty, the tabaxi. Don't bother him. Huh? Huh? <coughs> oh, the boss. I, I chitter oh, in. Uh, is it, is it the knife guy? What? The 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 the, the, the dark stock stalker or whatever. I have no uh, idea what you're saying, but anyway, don't bother him. Okay, just to, to ensure we avoid him. Where is he exactly? Well, you fo it's he's through the door on the north side. Okay. But seriously, don't bother him. He doesn't like being bothered. Uh, Very well. Are you doing that on something? No, I'm not. I'm uh, just messing with Ur's sheet. Oh, right. Like, oh, well, Raffles might. <coughs> well. All right, thank you. Not That's a problem. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm mean, like... Oh god, oh shit. So, do you follow the uh, <laughs> pose? He's <is> back! <laughs> yeah, I, I come out of my druid shape as, like, I hear that there's another Tabaxi around, and I check the door. So, the door, now from the door, you actually smell all of a set of uh, incense and the perfumes coming in. Is, the do is there, like, a, a people, like, a keyhole I can, like, look through? Or... There uh, appears to be a keyhole. Yes, you could look through it. Give me a perception check. Alright, alright. Uh, don't mess with me now, Dice. So, oh, nice. you do see what appears to be a really fat tabaxi sitting on a comfy pillow and uh, speaking in uh, a low, murmuring voice uh, to what appears to be two strange creatures with spiky wings. Spiky wings? <laughs> the, <laughs> the words uh, are spoken uh, so low, however, that you cannot quite grasp what they're saying. Do I break? those creatures as like a part of nature you would have to give me a religion check religion that's, yep. that's no I'm guessing <laughs> no they might be very strange birds though. give me a nature check now uh... they might be very strange <laughs> birds with spiky <laughs> wings does it right. sound like their conversation is near to an end, or they're like in the middle of conversation? And I'm just it like... sounds like uh, 
the fat tabax is just talking about something and the two spiky birds are just nodding methodically to the to the words like yeah 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 mm -hmm. yeah okay. we got it yeah we get it okay mm -hmm. okay uh pause is just like wringing their hands and shifting about and can't make up their mind <laughs> Well, the door is... there is a handle to the door. Whether it's locked or not, the only way to find out is to try to open it. Uh, shouldn't you knock first? I mean, it's a polite thing to do. Sure. You know what? Mm. You know what? Let's, let's go for it. Open up! <laughs> what? FBI, open up! FBI, open up! <laughs> Alright, now I knock on the door. So, you knock on the door, and from within, you hear a strong, powerful voice. Come in! And have a good excuse on you for that. Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, you're ah, about shit. to be bit. You're about to be busy, alright. Okay. Busy like, I've being got my dead! Hood up. Pow, pow. I've got my hood up, so as I have my hood up, I walk in. I try, I try the door and walk in, if I can. So, the very fat tabaxi looks at you from its uh, large pillow and arches an eyebrow. So, who the hell are you and why the hell are you bothering me? That's a good question. Why are we bothering him? Because I'm curious. Oh, well... Hmm. Uh, well, out of character, I'm curious because um, he's obviously the back. He's the first of backs I've seen. Well, and what with everything, I am also like, how did he survive? Is he from so, a different clan? Blah blah. Come in and close the door. I don't want the smell to leave. The incense is, you know, it costs a lot. Oh, that's nice incense. <laughs> So, Hess would know these things. Hess, uh, uh, what's your alignment again? Um, neutral something. So it's neutral good, <laughs> neutral pure, neutral evil. Uh, let's go. Just go true neutral. All right. So you're true neutral. Pose. Your alignment is. I think I I ran myself more as neutral good. All right. Uh, because I need to know the alignment when it comes to this guy. That's why. Okay. So it's a. Uh, so I need to know your alignments once you step into the room. That's. So, uh, Ravi, you stay outside or do you step inside? I step outside just in case. They get so you stay outside. You stay okay. in inside or outside? Right. Uh, right here to have a. All right. A, so, a uh, well, anyone inside the room notices this uh, kind of ethereal uh, servant look at you step inside and then move. Uh, through a door and disappear briefly. <gasps> Bad check. Then after uh, does six... Does he reappear? He does after a little while. The door seems to reveal a kind of strange contraption upon which the ethereal servant puts his hands on. It beeps once and then goes quiet. So, the creature looks at you and goes, Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> He sniffs of the air. I take down my hood and I'm like, a fellow tabaxi, how very rare. So, and to think, I thought this day would never appear. Ah, this is going to be such a nice day. He stands up and, and like uh, widens oh. his arms and goes, Well, come closer, let's, dis let's talk about what happened and uh, why... <laughs> I think this guy might be trouble. <laughs> I why I'm just, I just We've a uh, uh, Ravendiel, dexterity save. Shit. Uh, one second. Dex, 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 dex. Only Ravendiel? Yep. You can not outside. Yeah, you, you, are, you, you will have to do a different stuff, but not now. Oh. For now it's... Oh, good. No. So the stone do the door closes with a bang. In front of Ravandil, locking him That's outside. Time, Ravandil. As that happens, you're going to have to give me initiative. Damn it! Just 
Fucking, hold on, let me just reposition on the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that while Pause is just there, like, gripping her staff and, like, going, hey! Being all, being all like, suspicious, but also tense. Tess is just chilling out on the pillow. And then she suddenly realizes things are going to take a really bad turn and... Listen, okay, the Church of Pluck has many an incense room. I'm doing, like, finger quotes, or it's just... It's just weed right. rooms. <laughs> like, just opium chambers. <laughs> For the rich patrons! <laughs> That's definitely Shaft's uh, influence right there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot to log. Uh, so, alright, and then. <coughs> hey. Yeah, so, yeah. it's not a curse. We can't just straight up murder this person. Oh, yeah, we can. Let's. let's well, let's, no, we can't uh, because we need to know what happened. No, mm. let's, let's just. Let's just exterminate um, Possus Race even further. Uh, no, no, let's knock him out, and then if it turns out that he's the bad guy, we can deliver him to that dwarf. Mm. So dwarf, which dwarf? You mean the? Uh, All right. Mean Bode. So oh, Bode's an elf, isn't he? Is Bode's he? an elf. Bode's an elf. He's an elf. He's no, an elf. Bo Bode's a, Bode is a human. Oh, okay. I thought it was an elf. <laughs> okay, let's give him a cat. Well, anyway, <laughs> the creature in front of you looks at you, has, and goes, "Hey." You know what would be really nice? What? If you j no, no, not that you are sorry. Looks at Pose. You know what would be really, really nice? If you just went to sleep. Give me a wisdom save. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, crap. Well, you're good at wisdom saves, though, right? Yeah, but it won't save me. Like, even a, pl even, um, a plus eight won't save me if I roll shitty, like a two or... Well, the odds of rolling a two is one in ten. All right. I so, pose uh, the the words of your friend, uh, of your uh, of your beloved. Uh, well, not beloved, but you know, of another of your race, kind of makes you feel sleepy, and you actually oh. do fall asleep, peacefully oh, no. slumbering mm. down on the ground. Mm. As mm. that happens, the can I use my inspiration to re-roll that? <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> Yes, if you want to, yes. Yes, I will re-roll that. Go for oh, it. No, I am not going to sleep the first time I see another one of my race. Alright, yeah. you actually manage to take a grip on yourself and not fall asleep. As you do, you realize you. that the figure in front of you shifts in form. The fat melts. And while it does remain feline, it is clearly not a tabaxi. Its claws oh. extend, and it looks at you with a snarl. My freedom depends on the death of your race, and you shall be the last. Oh, <coughs> shit. I'm not the last one, of course. So, oh, meanwhile, the, the two spine devils at this point realize that you're not going to sleep. Well, the, the creature goes, you could have died peacefully in your sleep. Well, as if I would. Now it just means you're going to die while alive. Well, awake. So, two attacks, one of its bite, or two its... So, the two devils fly in... You have to imagine them kind of like boomerangs, actually, you know, seeing how they attack. So, they spin on themselves, uh, and uh, slam, and then they have the flyby attack. So, after they spin, they go back to where they are. So, yes, it's two attacks each, and they both aim at uh, pose. Oof. So it's two attacks each. So I'm going to be rolling four d twenties. <laughs> yeah, no, like it's none of them hit. Yeah, probably. probably yeah, no, it's plus four, so fifteen. Does a fifteen hit pose? Fifteen? I don't think so. I think pose a seventeen. Or no, it doesn't. No, I'm that's a seventeen then armor uh, class, baby. They actually <laughs> miss. <laughs> like the ta you're, you're like. Uh, surviving the blows of his barbed spines, and then they move back to where they are, and they hiss. Death! They hiss in is, infernal. Death! 
it's that extra uh, monk training from Shaft that finally came in useful. Now, the turn starts properly, so this here attempts another tailspin attack with his, uh, well, he has two spin tailspin. For 14 misses, the other is a critical hit. Oh, fuck! So, it's, I mean... Does Hess not do anything about the critical attack? Uh, I do. Yeah. Does uh, it wait? Because your turn hasn't yet started. Do you need that reaction? No. That's, that's not. That's not. That's not a problem because it's. Uh, it's just something I can do if some if a if a critical hit goes off. I think. Let me just find. Uh, because if it does require. It's a grave cleric thing, isn't it? Circle of Mortal of mortality. You can do when you would normally no wrong. Thing. Uh, what am I looking for? It's the. Uh, that's a good question. What are you looking for? Uh, as a reaction. Or... Yeah. So no. Reaction. Yes. Your what? turn hasn't started yet. That's why. No. Oh I... no. What? Yeah. So the first uh, rounds were the the rounds of surprise. Now it's the normal round, and your ha your initiative puts you at sixteen, but the the barb the devil is at twenty two. You still do not have a reaction yet. Okay. So. Oh, it's the fucking cult again. Mm, it's duh. The fucking Obviously. Like, so, 10 damage. Okay, yeah. 10 damage. So, the devil's bobtail tail manages to rip into your fur and uh, leave a gash behind before <laughs> moving back to its place and chuckling. Death to the boxy! <laughs> You know what I should have done? I should have cast True Seeing. Yes, that would have been a really nice thing to do. Oh well. Next time. Uh -huh. So, Ravandiel, you stand in front of a locked wooden door. Yeah, so let's see. I think I have just the thing to unlock it. Well, so how much I damage would it be? Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, I was going to get um, It is, we are 11th level. So it's yeah. 3d6. I'm sorry, it's 3d6. Go for so, the damage! Oh, actually, are we 11th or 12th? We're 11th. 11th. Alright, 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 alright. Maybe you'll survive so long enough to make 12. Maybe. It depends on you. That's like next session, isn't it? Yep. If you survive this one, of course. <laughs> so. Wait, so are we 12th level by next session or by the end of next session? By the end of next yes, session. Yes, by the end of next survive. session. So, okay. if we live, as Ravandia's words start to melt the wooden door, it hisses, but it's not yet open. And you notice, Ravandia, that the wooden door itself actually starts repairing. No, it doesn't. The fuck, I'm going to do it again because I use the bonus. Uh, I use my meta to do the bonus, so I'll do it again. You and I think another, another splash. Another splash. So I assume the damage will be just enough so I can pass through, right? You can't throw two cantrips. You can throw a cantrip and a spell, but not two cantrips. Okay. I mean, you're, so you're a see. sorcerer. You probably have something in there. Yes. Yeah, one second, one second. You could also use your sword. I mean, it's a sword. I, yeah. I'm going to just do that. If it's... Uh, oh. Oh, no. You'll be able to ram it with a shield. Shit. What? Is this... Oh, God damn it! This is a Rashaksha. Yeah. We need to <laughs> actually. Yeah, took you Did that you not long? see Discord? <laughs> well, yeah, I just did Discord, but like we gotta actually beat the shit out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. as you it's slam no? Nagling into the door, it actually cracks and finally breaks open. You hear a sound in the distance. It's an alarm. It rings throughout the entire place. The creature in front of you, the Rakshasa, laughs. Good! Now you are no guests at all! Only enemies! And... <laughs> well, Ravandil, the door is now open. <clears throat> God damn it, Ravandil said. <laughs> oh, you know what I could do? I could probably just banish all of them. You do remember? Yeah. yeah, you could. You could try. Yes. And and then we'll have to mm, because if I use for every for every spell slot above 
fourth that I use, I target one additional creature. So I just use the sixth level spell slot and target all three. Hmm. You could have yeah, use one last Right. So wait, uh, Ravandir, you can still move if you want. You still have a move action. Okay, then I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go here. They don't take an attack of opportunity, right? Because no, you I don't think... take attacks of opportunity. Don't worry. Okay, so I stand in front uh, and be the tank. All right, mm. Hess, it's your call now. What do you do? Six level punishment. Six level punishment. That's going to hurt so so much. Oh, no, uh, attack this and this. So all three of them. So it's yes. charisma saving throw, right? Yes. Shit. So <laughs> it's a fucking Rakshasa. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so oh my God. ah, wait, it's a uh, six same... level. Yes. Yeah, it's a six level spell. Yeah, so the Rakshasa doesn't go anywhere. Why? He just looks at you and goes, "I am." Magically immune to any spell of six level of lower. Okay, but the spine devil's still fucking yeet. Yeah, 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 the spine devil's might, but for just looks and goes, is this all you can do? <laughs> they actually have advantage on magic resistance, but a charisma of minus one, so. First one, well, that's no. That's fucking works. Second one. The second one oh. stays! <laughs> like, one disappears, but uh, you have to keep concentration, right? Ah, uh, yes. For one minute, so... Always he'll be back. And so the Rexager just laughs at you. Goes, ha! Okay, I think we might be actually fucked here. Okay, We need to uh, beat this guy to death with our fists. So, Ravendell, get on that. So, uh, has this... Honor honor or, uh, it's a uh, pose. Here what's going on. Right, I'm going to, like, moonbeam their faces off. <laughs> At, uh, let's throw it at the level 4, sure. Mm -hmm. So, alright. So, the Rax Chaza, now I have to actually wonder if immunity. Yes. Like, yes. So, yep. So, the Rakshasa just stands in the moonbeam and doesn't give a damn. He's like, IS THIS ALL YOU CAN DO?! HA 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 The devil on the other hand will have to roll the constitution yeah. save, but he does have advantage. Hmm. Oh, really? oh. oh! Yes! Oh, 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 he oh. halves the damage. So, it's... Uh, it would be 26, sir. Uh, yeah, so 13. Exactly, so he's still alive. Um, is he demon devil? Does, do they devil, like he's a devil. devil. Small fiend devil. devil. The spine devil. And the Rakshasa is a medium fiend. Low for evil. And they don't, they're not like um, weak to divine. Not, not no, divine, they're not, not weak to that. No. Um, oh, damn it. Ravi boy. Yeah. Uh, next turn, I'm gonna need you to go right after me. Where are you going, Hess? I'm worried, Hess. No, I, I'm gonna need you to put your initiative from 17 to under me. So, uh, Poser, is this all you do? Um, that's my, that's my action. Yeah, you can uh, move away if you want to. Or you can stay there. I mean, the door has been broken. I'm gonna move over this side. Actually, what is this guy doing? He's, He's just, just looking at you all. He's a, an ethereal servant, so he doesn't move, he doesn't do anything. He did move and beep this thing when you first came in, but then he just got back to his place and did nothing more. Technically, no one knows that uh, what happened is what's going well, to happen here, right? I, I, they could I probably hear it. I mean, you did break down the door. And yeah, there is an alarm going on throughout the entire place, but you can all clearly hear. Well, would it be too much of metagaming if I, like, went to this thing? No, you can go to that thing. It's not a problem. Sure, let's, let's do that then. Can't be affected or detected. I've... Does he... Does he stop me? Or... No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't have a strength to stop anyone. He just stands there. I shove him to the side, over to where... Ah, it's not a problem. Like, you, you pass right through it. Right through him. So, so I take the thing. 
you, you can't can like it's uh, so here's the thing imagine it as some kind of sphere which uh, uh, rolls on itself uh, but otherwise uh, stands uh, on a fixed uh, on a fixed uh, pedestal as uh, you try to take it it beeps again and uh, you hear a voice inside your head the voice snickers so you have come to try and stop me fools you will regret it is it a voice i recognize is it sure is it no it's not it's a the dark father, isn't it? No, it's the most slimy, dark voice, but you don't recognize it. It's a snake person, isn't it? Actually, no, it's more, you'd say rubbery. Rubbery? Yes, like, uh, you know, rubber against the rubber. Or... Ah, weird, okay. And he just, you will be killed. So, with that being said, uh, Donner. Um, so do, uh, do I hear anything? You hear an alarm, you hear the sound, the noises of a moonbeam coming down from within. You did hear the noises of Hes going, I banish thee! And the Rakshasa just laughing and going, You fool, you hold no power here! Uh, Donner's gonna gallously turn to Shafnium and just say, Oh, it sounds like they're having fun. I think we should go to the snake. Um, and then um, I'm going to cast Greater Invisibility on myself. All right. Um, so three point to double its length, because why not? And um, so is this door open? Yes. It has been literally broken off its hinges and does not right, appear right. to be regenerating. So you can see inside. Okay. Um, I will step in here. All right. And uh, that will be it for my turn. Cause, All right. Uh, As you do, however, you notice uh, that the Rakshasa is actually staring at you. Oh. When did, I have, when did I have time to cast True Seeing? It might have it as a feature. It no. Might, no, it doesn't have it as a feature, but it had it already. Because right. you will find out when you rip it out of his own body, if you manage to, of course. It's True sight 360 degree vision. Like no, it's Amazon. not. It's uh, it's simply the, the normal sight, but uh, you can see even in the aerial plane. So he can't see what's happening directly behind him. Yeah, no, he cannot see. He wouldn't be able to. It's invisibility. He, he can see invisibility. He can see the true shape of people, even if they are shape changed, and so on. He cannot see behind him. So. <coughs> So, it's his turn. He looks at you all, chuckles, and goes, Well, I shall have my fun with you at a later date. Oh, bastard. As it is. Leave? Don't you <laughs> dare fucking run away. He tries to date rape paws, and he's gonna fucking leave? <laughs> oh my God. He looks at you all and goes, I'll be notifying my allies and we will crush you and then oh, wow. he disappears fucker fucking god damn it <laughs> all right he's at he's at our list of people to kill you know i bet right. he's the one who murdered cause's family did we get we get i mean like, that's basically name? what he said so. so wait uh so he disappears and uh well the two barbed Devils are literally just weak sauce. So, Shafnium, what do you do? Uh, well, Shafnium doesn't know that the Rakshasa has departed. He's been here the entire time. Yeah. Shafnium doesn't even know there was a Rakshasa. Yeah, Shafnium no. like, what's going on? So his response is probably to go this way. Mm. And ask for help. Hey, uh, guys. Um, no, the, oh, no, you do God. see this door is locked now. There is a wall of ah, force. I can't even go through that fucking door. Yeah, okay. no, there's a wall of force blocking the the passage. All right. Well, the Shaftium kind of just goes, "Well, shit. At least the uh, fuck. I don't know what to do." So he's just gonna check the blood here and try and figure out what creature it came from. 
Well, it was like a cow. No, it's probably it was not human, but humanoid maybe. Huh. If he does a medicine check, what would he get from that? He'd probably get how yeah. how old it was when it died. Like uh, <clears throat> this is fresh blood, so maybe it died two hours ago, or maybe it's old blood. It's been a day. Ah, you see that it's old blood. It must have been days. Huh. Days old blood. That's how. That's helpful. Then I'm uh, gonna have Shafnium go over here and uh, take a sip from the water fountain. All right, you take a sip from the water fountain. You are immune to poisons, aren't you? Yes. You are, right? Because you are a monk, or you are not, and you just said yes, because... <laughs> it's, it's Shafnium fucking Aqua Jar. Have you seen what he puts into his body? I know, but the, the, the lore and the mechanics are different things. <laughs> so, do Why you have purity of body or not? That's the question. Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, what, is, what does this stuff do? Purity of body is a 10th level monk, but you did uh, multi-class, right? Yes, I am... Let me check. Which level monk are you? Uh, da, 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 7. So, yeah, no. You're going to get... So, give me a constitution saving throw. Con. Yep. <laughs> uh... Constitution is only plus one. Well, oh. it's not bad. So you feel a bit woozy. You can't quite put it, uh, and put your finger on what it is, uh, but uh, you then shake it off. The water does t taste strange, though. <laughs> strange good? Strange bad? Strange bad. <laughs> Okay, so Shafnian's probably just going to take some uh, vials of the stuff with him. Alright. So, then, uh, well, there's the one who's been banished. The other devil uh, starts his turn, rolls, but will probably fail it. Yeah, he does. So, he takes damage and he's pretty much dead as long as you do at least seven. Yay. So, has you keep concentration for one minute. Mm -hmm. So, then the other one also disappears. And you're done. So Oz is just uh, frothing with rage at the possibility of like finding someone who is directly implicated with the death of her like clan and family and stuff. And is just like trying to search the room for anything to do with this guy. That's the second time this has happened, right? Like, from a meta perspective, first there was that Nazi guy, and then this guy. Well, the Wait, Nazi guy wasn't really connected what to Nazi anyone in particular. Guy? The Wait, Nazi the professor. Oh, right, that yeah, guy. Uh, Do Invisible Donner is going to go over to pause and lay a hand on her shoulder and just be like, "I, you know what, I I understand what this means to you. I, I, I swear I will do whatever it takes to help you get justice for your family's murder. Whatever it is. There is an invisible Pause. voice yeah. speaking to you, Pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, the room actually doesn't have anything except for the pillows, the carpet, uh, the thick smell of incense, which actually kind of fills your nostrils and makes some of you nozos. As, uh, no. yeah. That has, though. Yeah, not as well. But, no, like, I don't know, papers or notes and nope. dealt with his ally. If there is something, it's not in this room. Uh, okay. You Can do? I at least yeah. Some of the incense that might not have been burned yet. Sure, you do find some sticks of incense which haven't been burned, and you count enough for 250 gold coins of incense. Okay. Oh, that's actually really useful for me, personally. Maybe I if I can... Is, is this, like, the good stuff? It or is like... the good stuff. Okay, so I figure this kid, whoever sold him this, might be, I don't know, important as a merchant, or at least powerful enough, and maybe might be, like, one of his so-called allies. I mean, it is incense. You can find it at Vemporium, so... 
Oh. I know, but still, it's it's my only lead at the moment. Yes, that could be a lead. Okay, guys, I think we should get out of here. If that guy's true, I think uh, that uh, everyone here is now our enemy, whether they we want it or not. Then we should just fucking wipe them out. Well, let's relax. I don't think that uh, we need to have any more people angry at us. Angry well, I mean, at us. They're working with someone who committed genocide. That, exactly. That's Even if they didn't, they, they didn't do the action themselves, they're supporting him. I they, mean, in all fairness, they, if we were working for a I kingdom, we would technically... For starters, if they were supporting him, why was, wasn't he his true form? I think he's playing them just like he played us. What do you mean, why wasn't he... What, what do you mean? He was, he was transferred to Tabaxi, not his successor form. That means that Look, whoever put him here... With how rare, with how rare my kind is around, do you think anyone can tell the difference between what he is and what the Tabaxi is? That's a very, good, that's that's a very, very good question. His form melted. He was a Tabaxi. And his form melted to reveal Rakshasa, which means he was disguised as a Tabaxi. As a fat Tabaxi. Like a really, really fat fat tabaxi like the kind of tabaxi who obviously has absolutely no sense of dietary control it's morbidly obese yes yes thank you Shafnil. besides it is shurazon's area and assume the people here is allies you really want to anger the super powerful leap because i don't well at this at this point he is not to be an ally anymore not to be trusted i don't even trust him on what he said about being the death claw or whatever stupid shit that because if this was his personal uh rooms or whatever and he, like he's powerful enough to be able to uh exercise said spells or you know his authority outside of his goddamn fucking city then he must know about this rakshasha that is like holding up in his own private personal area like what the fuck? I don't think he does. He hasn't been. Are you, are you talking about Shirazun? I don't think yeah. he knows. No, Shirazun. There's no way Shirazun knows. Why would he all the this? Sh I mean, I'm not there. Never mind. All this shit yeah. is pre-recorded. I'm well, gonna actually wait. Shafnium isn't in the room yet, so I gotta have him come forward. So he's gonna go forward. He's got a whole bunch of vials of water and. Uh, Hey guys, how you doing? You look like you worked out. Anybody want some refreshments? And he starts offering people water. So, I just, yeah, I just uh, <laughs> use my poison. Why are you offering me poison water? What's wrong with you? I have many issues. <laughs> okay, Don't I just smiles and says no thanks. I need something a little harder and pulls out a flask of water with the lemon slice in it. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Hess, uh, the body yeah. you are poking uh, appears to be that of a peasant, maybe a, a man, an old man, who has been uh, dragged down and then messily eaten. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over and make sure that there's nobody there before saying, Fuck, turn him into a ghoul. The book so you turn you look at the corner right yeah all right so give me initiative what yeah give me initiative huh? just give me a second i'll be removing everyone's turn so but i was being sneaky yes i know it doesn't go everybody's in the room magic shit no no, no no you are in your own room people now first we must see hess and uh, I w how many times do I need to teach you these lessons, you, you old man? You, you old man! How many times must I teach you this? Yes, yes. Why the fuck are you running away from the party? Why do you run away from Anki? Do but, you hate Anki that much? Yes, well, nobody likes uh, likes <laughs> Uncle. Like, nobody likes you, Ravandil. You know that. Twenty two. Let me have my dreams. <laughs> you don't deserve dreams. <laughs> you don't deserve dreams! Like okay. I, I have friends, you don't have any friends. <laughs> Listen, alright? Sometimes you just gotta explore a little. 
Yeah, yeah, that was fine. Now, if only I could find where the hell did they put the, the darn things, and uh, I'd be happier than everybody else. Oh, God. Is it like... I remember I had to fight on dead because it, that would probably be preferable. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not an undead. Damn it! So, why isn't it... Ah, right, right, because it actually doesn't like it when it's... Oh, well. Yeah, Anki is coming. Yeah, no, Anki isn't coming. Anki is dying. <laughs> Just come on. <laughs> Are you the... Uh, no, it's not him. Come well, on. Because it's too angry to move. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Local cat is too angry to move. <laughs> ah, well, come on. You might still be faster than the thing. Yes, you are definitely uh, but... faster than the thing. So, has Jeez. you see down the hallway... This thing, sniffing the air like a bloodhound, and uh, as you look at it, it looks at you. What is that? Is that an artwork? No. no. Is that an <laughs> anteater? <sighs> so, it looks like a fucking anteater from this book. Exactly. Okay, let me zoom in, let me zoom in. Okay, so, that is not an anteater. <laughs> what I mean... the fuck is that dog? Uh, do I know what this is? Give me <laughs> a religion check. Oh, a really another fucking cult shit. Ah, it's a demon. Do I know what it is? It is. Uh, yes, you do. It is a canalot. A what? A canalot. They are the loyal hounds of a yugolot. Serving both as guardians and trackers for the masters. Um, they are happy things. Oh, uh, it's a lot. Um, how do you spell it? Yeah, can a lot. So, they... Write it down, please. Sure? Yeah, just uh, write that down and put that there, please. Had no loss. That's a weird name. So, Hess, it is your turn. You see, it is seeing you, like, it didn't know where you are. What do you do? Hmm. Wait, it knows, did, does it or does it not know where I am? When you peek down the corridor, the thing is here and it looks straight at you. It clearly Shit, was okay. following your scent somehow. Okay. I mean, Wait. shit, it's, it's a loth, right? Yep. That means it's not from this plane of existence originally. Yep. So, uh... I am right. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Charisma, right? Yes. You're going to be ending them eventually, you know that, yes. Yeah. So, I actually have plus one! I am a dog and I have plus one! It's a cute Doggo. dog. Obviously, obviously doggos have better charisma than you. And, uh, well, yeah. 13, so, yep, no, I'm banished. Or am oh. I? This is making sad that we Okay, I'm gonna go, well, Hess is gonna go down here and look over the corner. Are there more dogs? There actually are not. <laughs> I just love how Hess does look at it, but she just goes back and like, hey guys, why that miss? <laughs> yeah, uh, Hess goes back to poking the corpse. Alright, <laughs> so as you go back to poking the corpse to make it a ghoul, just give me a second, and the book shall tell you what you need. Wait, I need a six level spell slot for that, right? I think so, just... Shit, I can't make it into a ghoul then. Just give me a second, it might not be a six one, but I need to check. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Blood and doom and death to fee. You're gonna die, and you know. Mm. And I shall. No, it's a third. Animate dead is a third level spell slot. No, Animate that's... ghoul is a second level. What? Yes, second level necromancy. You do need 100 gold coins, though. 
What, huh? But yeah. it's a ghoul. Yeah. Isn't, isn't, hold on, isn't there, isn't the net, uh, what? Huh? Just trust me on it. The book is the book. Raise that, speak with the dead, tell the dead. What am I thinking of? Because there's definitely, okay, so. I mean, the ghoul uh -huh. is a challenge rating of one, so. Yeah, but it's still a ghoul. You do realize they have quite, like, ghouls are not what they used to be. Hmm. Shoot, what am I think? I'm thinking of, okay, never mind, I'll figure it out later, but. Sure. Uh, 100 gold. Sure. Alright, so with 100 gold coins you get a ghoul. A happy, friendly ghoul. Who will be by your side until he dies. Just give me a second, I'll plop down All a right. ghoul. Ah, you'll right. you use the shooting skeleton, alright. <laughs> yeah, you know, aren't I, I? I think that's my turn? Is, is combat over, or...? Well, no. who knows? I mean, okay. that's your turn, because the animate ghoul is one action, and it's a touch, and it's a... Yeah. Well, technically, wait. Yeah, I, I shouldn't even have it yet. But yeah, I'm but... gonna do it next turn. So then, uh, well, it's... Donner, Shafnium, Ravan, your pose... You haven't heard any sound of battle, so you're in the room talking. Yeah, but we were still like... like uh, I say we just wipe everything. out everyone inside this, I don't know, ruin, just to be safe. I guess we could should... always just set the whole place on fire. I'll be, uh, oh, I'll be... Right. Can we blow it up? Look, They're dealing with demons not... and devils, come on. Are these Look. pillows very expensive looking? They actually are very expensive looking. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's let's find recompense by just stealing the Rakshasa's stuff every single time. Because <laughs> inevitably he's gonna set this kind of thing up and then he's gonna run away. So let's just steal the rug, the pillows, and then sell that to the local town every single time we encounter the Rakshasa. So eventually he's gonna bankrupt himself by running away. And we'll force him to stay and fight us, or else he'll his wallet will. Burn. You know, it's a few fucking pillows. I no, don't it's think there a, are there. more than that. You do realize that all it takes is a charm person, or a suggestion, or a dominate person to get free stuff. It's, like uh, you are expecting Rakshasa to be paying for this stuff. So, like, he's not actually wealthy. He's just a fucking thief. I mean, a, look, all it takes is dominate guy. person on a, on an Emporium owner, and you get everything as long as you get a lucky roll. Wow, yeah. he's a fucking loser. No, it's worse, guys. <laughs> it's worse. He's a Jew. Hey. Oh, okay, that's a bad thing. I'm just joking. It that's is a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, those guys that uh, steal shit. Like this, uh, no, he's a sleazy used car salesman. Now, that's better. Oh, See? Yeah. He's a shyster. He's a, a schmuck. He's um, an asshole. But exactly. a scam artist, a con. So, as you are discussing uh, what he is or is not, uh, do you do anything else for this turn, or do I just yeah. move on to back to? I think, yeah, I think we're just going to go check the area that he stole us. Uh, we'll have to go up, second right, and the last. Thing. So As who... we were talking, I'm just like ruining his room. <laughs> like just clawing the stuff and uh, being like, ah! Tearing the stuff, throwing whatever pots or breakable stuff there is. Yes, in just the... throwing just stuff in this Alright. So then, who's... A pillow. <laughs> so, out of you four, who steps out of the room first? I'm going to step out of the room first, so I have a high stay Sure. Here we go. Alright. Nothing seems to happen, but do you finish your movement, Ravandil. We know you want yes. to. Well... Alright, you can stop there. Alright. So, the second guy looks at you with its nice uh, rubbery tongue and slams the tongue against you. Oh boy. Oh, that's some impressive distance. That's I know. Tongue. I, I bet. Know. I bet. Shaft Actually, the range is the thirty like feet. Like the oh, tongue has a thirty oh. feet range. So, with that being said, let's see if I do hit you. 
It's a critical hit. Of course, it's a critical hit. I mean, I, I mean, Hess is not around to undo what it. What a great shade today! You got to be cringe. I Why? mean, look, the last two sessions, I ne I never hit any of you. Like, <laughs> you you need to understand, it's thirty one damage, and uh, you need to give me an. Uh, yeah, you are grappled. Ah, I wait. Really you, for that. you are. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Wait. Because I hit you, so you are grappled, you are pulled to where I am. Hey, I'm back. And you are restrained until the grapple ends. Oof. Now, the escape is 15. However, the thing is, I have a second attack because the tongue is the first and the second is the bite. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I would need to be critting. Ah, but you are restrained, so I have advantage on the bite. Shit. Well, it's not a critical hit, but do I hit you with a twenty-six? Wait, let me check. I have twenty. If I cast shield, shield gives me plus five, right? Okay. Yes, twenty-five. But uh, yeah, it's still a hit, even though. I mean. Yeah. Fuck. So, Ravandil, it was nice knowing you. You were a great, oh, a great hero, but unfortunately, twenty-four damage. Yeah, I'm down. All right. So since you're down, you are not resisting, and you get dragged away. How much? So, dragging, dragging, how much for speed is 50, so, 1, 2, that's 10, 20, 25. So, you get dragged over here, and I'll just hide the area. Just wow. Be, just because I'm, I'm evil. So. Can't, can't believe Ravendel is dead. Well, he's not Ravindel. dead, he's gone. What, so. What the fuck is your, uh, what the fuck is your HP? 55. Thanks. So, uh, well... I can't believe Ravendel is dead. So technically, after Ravendel, it's Pose. So, like, Ravi was just fucking eaten alive. Well, Ravendel was... stepped outside of the door while you were talking and went, Well, let's just get going. He steps out of the door. You hear kind of like a slurp. Schniak. <laughs> now, there's not, even, there's not even a help coming out. Like, I would have been following him, like walking and talking sort of thing. I mean, so I would follow him. I... So you would have been following him up to here. So one, two, three. I, I four, can't seem to. I can't seem to move anything. One what? Are you in the right layer? Objects? And, yeah, you should be. Just, I'll, I'll move your token a bit. Can you now move it Thanks. again? Nope. I, for some reason, I'm still stuck at. Uh, oh, I'm stuck on pan view. One second. Ah, that's... Okay, there we go. Yes. Now I can so you so I started here, wasn't yes. it? Yes. So you moved uh, 1... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... Yeah, well, Zni, if you moved behind him, you would have stopped here, seen him get slurped and carried away through this corridor. So then you... Oh, shit! Robinson, what happened? And then I go after him. So you would be doing another move action, right? Because you would finish the movement here, I guess, no. and then you would have another move no. action, right? Uh, one second. Uh, would I have? <coughs> Give me a second. Oh god, he's gonna put me in where the blood is and going to eat him. He's nuts. Oh, here we go. Um... I'm going to use my feline agility trait as a tabaxi. Uh, when I move on my turn in combat, I can double my speed until the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. And once I use it, I can't use it again until I move zero feet on another one of my turns. Ah, all right. So for this turn, I would double my all speed. All right. I go uh, up to... That's another 30 feet, isn't it? Yes, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you, I managed you, to catch up. Yes, and you do see Ravandir getting all slobbered up in the tongue of this uh, creature here. 
shit. And I can see he's unconscious, so yes. I'm just gonna... He's bleeding on the ground, yes. My best bet is then to wake him up while shouting to everyone else to, cut, to follow the fuck so that we can beat him. You heard her! Follow the fuck! <laughs> uh, this, this. Okay, well, you know what I mean. Anyway, whatever, whatever gets uh, you guys follow. Doing the advice that I've been following for so long, following the fuck. Follow the fuck. <sighs> um, I can't use Curie wounds because he's five feet away, so I'll have to use healing word at third level. But it's a fucking one. Great. Well, it's 2 plus 1 plus 8, so 11 hit points. Yay. Rav, so, you're back up at 11. Yay. You open your eye, you're still in the tongue of a thing, uh, Alan Diallo. Okay. So, <laughs> it's, uh, well, after pose, uh, I did do the movement of a creature, so it's not going anywhere yet. Uh, but isn't it? Mm, because we have a, so... Since you are still doing this, uh, Hess, you still have to hold concentration for when you've banished. Yes. So you're holding it, and one well, Hess. action to make a, make a ghoul. All right. So you do make the ghoul. All right. You spend 100 uh, gold coins, and you now have a ghoul. I'm going to go over here. All right. That's my turn. I don't think I can do much else. Alright, alright, so I'll just put this one in its own turn, but it should still be turn one. So then, after that, Donner! Okay, um, I guess I would have followed, uh, pause, so... Sure. I think the fucking shaft starts walking. Um, and then... I guess I still don't really see anything, so I'll double move uh, and run behind her. All right, so you'll end up here, and you'll see the... the you see, like, uh, Ravandil having just woken up, being surrounded by Tong, and getting dragged away. What is yelling? Stop! There's <laughs> Are Wait, should we be here for this? <laughs> should I give? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We don't want him to actually end up like all of those, you know... Wait, don't, shouldn't we give him some privacy with his... <laughs> this is not my fetish! <laughs> <laughs> so, Donner accepts all. <laughs> yeah, you not king shame you, you know? There's no king yeah. shaming in the party. This is not his day! Help me! <laughs> okay. Okay. Shafnium is about to have a big brain moment. Uh... <laughs> His gloves are covered in alcohol all the time, as we all know. Yes. Oh, no. What are you going to do? He's going to grab one of these pillows covered in alcohol, and then he's going to dash down this hallway. And then he's going to throw the alcohol-covered pillow onto this creature and light it on fire. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to set Rav on fire as well. That's a familiar feeling. And don't worry, there's water right there that we can use to put out the fire. So, well, so you throw the alcohol-soaked pillow against the creature and atop Ravandir also, because it gets gnawed with thieves and there's alcohol and fevers everywhere, and you light it on fire. So, Ravandir is restrained. He doesn't get a saving throw. The Canalot doesn't care. So give me 1d6 fire damage. Okay. And only Ravandil is suffering. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ravandil, you suffer 4 fire damage. The creature just looks at the scene and huffs uncaringly. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> Damn, if you undo my work on Ravenil and set him unconscious again, I will kick you. God, wow. It, it must be really frustrating watching him die over and over again, huh? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> so, Ravenil, it's your turn. Give me an escape uh, check. Uh, yeah, what's this kid check? I think that's a check. 
you can right. use strength or you can use uh, acrobatics. Just give me a, uh, give me a second and I'll tell you. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's either strength, athletics, or dexterity, acrobatics. It's your call. Okay. I'm thinking to see which one is the highest. Uh, I mean, ah, acrobatics. Uh, yeah, I would hope so. Good. Good. You, you managed to break free from the tongue. I'm pretty much full beyond this. No. Yeah. However, you have used your action to escape, so... So, I cannot attack you. Yeah, no, you have used your action. <laughs> Ravendil, shove one of them lesser healing potions down your own throat. For favor. But no, that was my action. I cannot do anything. Can that's I use a, a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, drinking a potion is a bonus. bonus. Yeah, okay. that's so that's good you can do that. Okay, I'm going to drink a greater, which is a... 44. 44. Mm. Plus four. Such a good idea to buy. 44? Yeah, yeah. It's, yes. It's, it's why I suggested it. it. I quite kindly suggested it. I stressed it. There was a reason. <laughs> I don't do things without a reason. <laughs> this wild tongue monster has done more to harm our party than that Rakshasa ever did. Uh, that's not true. Pause was harmed psychologically. Can I slap <laughs> Pause is being harmed psychologically, psychologically over, and over and over and over again. <laughs> so, uh, Ravandil, you heal 15 hit points, alright? And uh, technically, you still have a move action. Do you want to use it? Yeah, uh, can I? Because I see that everyone is I thought that save was like at the end of his turn or something. No, okay, I just hope it's... to the very end. I don't know why you just. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you're giving me an attack of opportunity. That's what I was. Yeah, doing. oh, if I move. Yeah, you yeah, but <laughs> so you don't move or you move. It's your call. Uh, no, I don't. Because in the end, I'm still a tank. I mean, you're still a tank. Bolder words have never been spoken. So, pose! Pose. Pause. Hello? Can you yes. hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. I saw that Flaming Sphere didn't do shit. Uh, not Flaming Sphere, sorry, that Fire didn't do shit. So that nixes is Flaming Sphere. Um, can I Thorn Whip him? Oh, I wait, mean, I have an idea. You could. Moon, uh, beam. Beam. moon beam. Moon <laughs> beam. Moon beam. I'm not gonna moon moon beam. Beam him. So, <laughs> you do, so, you do hit. With a torn whip. Yay, the, the damage, damage is. Uh, nine. Nine damage, alright. Nine damage. Is that good? Well, he looks at the whip and grows. In a, in a kind of. Seriously? It's just a catcher. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, the, 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 the enemy is. Uh, seriously? So then, it's his turn. He scoffs, like, he actually scoffs, like, why am I bothering? Why do I have to bother? And then he's like, ah, fuck it. So, let's do some tongue action on Ravandil again. Oh, no. Oh, that is an interesting That's so hard. 22, Ravandil. No, if I use my shield. Do you? So you, don't, you don't get tongued. Get fuck. So, if it's not tongue, I still have a bite. So, after the tongue shots out and gets stopped by the shield, now it's time for some bite action. And I think I miss with 14. Yes, we do. I have downloaded your moveset. Yeah, it actually huffs and goes, ah, I hate this. Kind of like, what? He's like, bah. Well, it holds, and then Hess, it's your turn. Uh, okay, so I looked up the spell list, and Create Undead, which creates uh, ghouls, is a 6th level spell. Yes, but this is a different kind of spell. Mm, Don't worry. Okay. You have okay. a special book making yes. things easier for you. Um, I'm just going to go over here and then begin mashing my way through. There we go. 
Uh, I'll whack it with my staff. See, wait, wait, so you moved through him, and then you decide to whack him with your staff. Sure! Yes. Go for it! Um, actually, no, I'm gonna cast, uh, well, I'm gonna move my thing over here, and then I'm gonna cast, uh, yeah, but Radiant Word. Wait, because you moved him over there, I do have an attack of opportunity, because you stepped outside okay. of my area of menace, so... Okay, um, let me just find the ghoul stats. I mean, I, to look. I hit him with a bite, and judging by the... He has 22 hit points. I looked at yes. him. So, judging by the damage, he might just be dead. Okay. Yeah, like, one bite, uh, he's gone. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Radiant Word. And it's a cantrip. And it goes a little something like... Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. But it's the one. So... 10 ah. radiant damage, but constitution save, correct? Yes. Alright. So, it's a con save. Oh, do I have... Yes, I have advantage. So, it's... I roll with advantage. And I fail. So, yep. 10 damage. 10 damage. And then, as a bonus action... I guess spiritual weapon. Does spiritual weapon require concentration, though? Uh, no, it does not. It does not. Ah. That's why it's such a good spell. Well, who am I to say no to a spiritual weapon when you have a need for it? Uh, eighteen damage. Nice. A bold of you to assume the twenty-four hit, but yes, it did. <laughs> um, yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> I mean, now it doesn't! What was wrong? So, that's 38 damage in yes. one turn. That's not bad. Still alive. So then, Donner. Lightning bolt. If you really, if you go like here, I'm pretty certain you can hit all of us. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why would you want that? <laughs> like, um... Maybe, hold on, let me get just dip to uh, no snapping. I can probably line this up right, so... So, uh, I'm gonna do it with, uh, with Fireball, seeing as it's like the only thing I have that would not hit everyone else. Well, uh, what about what about um, the, 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 the three lightning bolts that you shoot out that are made of fire? Yeah, yeah, that one. Of course, that's, that's exactly what I meant. So, ah. well then... Hit! Right. Scorching Ray, uh, so hit me if you can! Yeah. Oh! Oh, you know what you could do? Mm. If you shoot Chain Lightning at, at Ravendell, right? <laughs> <laughs> he can hit everyone else! <laughs> That's what we call a multi kill. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Stop killing me, guys! <laughs> are you crying purposely, TPKS? It's Don't not worry, a purpose. Ravi. We'll just revive you again and again and again. So and 16. Again. So the 16 hits. The other two don't. Yeah. This is, this is why. This is why lightning fireball is obviously the worst of the lightnings. Yeah. Yeah. It, Did it, you just say fireball is the worst of the lightning spells? <laughs> lightning fireballs. Oh, right. 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 <laughs> because he was not so convinced about it, so it's six yeah, damage. it's only six damage. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Wait, they do have resistance, so it's less. Sure. Wow. So he looks at it and goes, "Ah." Eh. You know what? Just shoot it then. So but if you put a, if you put a fireball right here, you could hit all of us. You're included. <laughs> Why would you? so Shafnium? It's your turn. Okay, so I don't have another alcohol soap pillow. <laughs> Just punch it, Chad! <laughs> I can punch it! You're a monk! <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna start hitting it. Alright, so do you oh, hit God. him with Nurse Scalpel? Should I? It's your call, but you should tell me if you're hitting him using Nurse Scalpel or not. I think I'll use my bare hands for this one. All right. Oh, oh, you know what you could do? Wild magic. Uh, I think he's going to kill me. There's only a 
two percent chance that you cast fireball on yourself. You know what? You're right. It hasn't. It's been too long. Let's do wild magic. This is oh! a good idea. <laughs> if I die, I'm going to curse it. This is sixty-seven. No, sixty-seven. I mean, sixty-seven. Uh, bright light in a thirty-foot radius for ah. the next. No, wait, 67, 67, no, it's, you oh, are, you are frightened uh, by the nearest creature until the end of your next turn. Shoot. So, yeah. he's frightened of Ravendil. Well, Ravendil pose or the creature. You pick Shafim. Oh, Who frightens you most? Oh, it's, ob it's, it's obviously fucking Ravendil. You are frightened by Ravendil. watching him die again. You look at him. I'm terrified of watching him die again. What? And then I immediately turn away and start running in so, the opposite direction. Where, where are you going? Frightened doesn't mean you have to spend all your movement to go away. It just means you can't go closer to it willingly. Yeah. I'm, I'm running away from the thing that is terrifying me. Well, that's, that's on you. Like, you see Ravandil with his glimmering locks of gold fluttering in the wind and his chin, his masculine chin and his broad, you know, chest like a superhero being ready to fight and you see him die over and over again, time and He's time again. He's just not ready to confront this again, so he runs away exactly. and himself somewhere else. So then, Ravandil. But, wow, yeah, no, it's Ravandil because I already used my reaction on the ghoul, so... I can't use it again until it's my turn. So, Ravandiel, what do you do? Well, after I saw my brother going full, you can cast me gay thoughts, I realized, okay, you know what? It's fine. It's cool. It's okay. It's fine. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Fuck it. I'm going to kill this asshole. You can try. You'll probably miss. Yeah, first of all, I'm going to cast the haste on myself with... Uh, my all right. And I'm going to start the wailing on it with my swan. That's one. I think that's yes, a Yes, that's a hit. That's one. That's two. That's another hit. Uh, and I think I get... <sighs> now I have a shield, so now that's... I'm going to be fair. Um, wait, I forgot something. And, come on. Guys? Yes? Well, here, I oh. I am hearing you. Okay, okay, I thought I disconnected, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. I, uh, I, I hear you. All I right. Guess. You're right there. All right. Okay. Still alive. <laughs> it looks uh, at you and hisses, but it's still alive. So, uh, did I do any damage to all? <laughs> Feel like it didn't damage. You did. You did damage to him. You did good, son. You did good. Not enough, that, but you did good. That does it look like damage, though? Because uh, it depends. It does look uh, winded. It does look like it took uh, quite some damage. Pose. What do you do? Uh, give me a sec. I can't remember if this, uh, like, shockwave thing is going to hit everyone yes. else or not. Yes, I, I think yes. If it's the shockwave, the thunder wave, yes. Thunderclap. Yes. Not only that, it's going to be hurt by everyone in the dungeon. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do a thorn whip again. Thorn whip! <laughs> you hit! See? Yay! Better the damage you know than the damage you don't! It's an 8! <laughs> Still alive! But he did take the damage! Yay! So then it's his turn. Jesus so. Christ! You could kill this thing! <laughs> okay. So. He. kind of. peeks its ears up, its snot, the tongue gobbles back inside. Mm -hmm. He kind of feels like he's been listening to someone or something, and he disengages. One, two, three, four, five, six. The door clatters open as I sees, and then he's somewhere. So six would be 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All right. Aren't those teleportation circles something like the cult uses? Uh, you did uh, see 
well, Hess did see the golden one in Shura's own chambers, but you did see the this other one used by the cult himself itself when you were teleported into the hills. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then, Hess, you saw the door here just spin open and then close behind. Okay. It's your turn. Uh, uh, okay, let's go check it out then. Of course, let you, you can go check it alone. It's gonna be f knock knock. Just give me a Who's second. Who's there? So, when you say check it out, you mean that you stay on behind the door, or you cross through the door and then you stop? I I, I, I cross through the door. All right. So just give me a second, because. I actually have to use more than one browser because apparently, depending on the one I use, so you stand there. So as you stand there, you see a kitchen with the. Oh, it's that guy! Yeah. What are these things? Oh, that guy. Yeah. He's got that really, really. <laughs> I mean, I did, I did get. <laughs> well, these are clearly places where hot. Water bubbles to the surface, and they are cooked. F stop being cooked on them by this ethereal servant. On the other hand, this creature is standing there, looking at you, has, and uh, well, let me roll its initiative, because we cannot go without his initiative too. Why? Why? He's yeah, yes. Oh god, why did you <laughs> <laughs> You know it's true! I do you know what to What does it I I didn't I didn't hear what did you say it had? Uh, yeah, yeah. had hands. I I literally do not understand <laughs> Ah now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah, you're going to die for that. <laughs> oh, God. So. Nice. Hold on. So. This is, this is basically what we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. So, anyway. The happy, friendly creature of love and friendship teleports right in front of Hess. As Wait, is it? Oh. Yes, but its prepared action was to teleport in front of the door as soon as it opened. Wow, okay. Fucking but, rude, I guess. So, Hess, you did move and open the door, and now you see this creature standing just beyond it, looking down at you. With its large clothes and its uh, bad teeth ready to, you know, Brutally murder you, perhaps. And Hess is like, he's so dreamy. Do I know what it is? Give me a religion check, and you might. No, never seen it before. You're looking really like, okay. fuck! You know what? I'm gonna take a gamble here. Uh, banishment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop banishment on the dog. All right. And cast banishment. On the big boy. So, you're telling me it's got to be a charisma check. Cool. Yes. Oh, you're gonna have the guy with giant dick fingers run a charisma check. You know, <laughs> there's just one thing. He's immune, isn't he? So. Yes. Uh, no, uh, it's not that he's immune. Don't worry. Uh, sorry, I cast it at fifth level to also get the stock. All right. So it's yeah, sixty feet. So here's the thing. Just give me a second. Mm. All right. Is this like a yellowlot or something? Yeah, no, that's the thing. The can no, the the canalot dimensionally locks, uh, so other creatures cannot teleport to or from a space. But now but. I need to decide whether banishment is a teleportation or not. Just give me a second. But. It's not a teleportation. Yeah, it's a plane shift. I know. That's just give. I said, give me a second because I'm reading it uh, while. Uh, so, 
Ah, uh, we'll go with a charisma saving throw. Well, the cannot first. He does have advantage. He passes! The cannot is save! Okay. And now the other guy, big happy guy. Does he manage to survive? Or not so? His charisma. I mean, he has minus one to charisma. If it had been a wisdom saving throw, he might have made it, but. Bye bye, I mm -hmm. guess. I mean, he doesn't even have advantage, so it's literally. Nope! <laughs> Fuck off! So he gets banished. Okay. Banished. Uh, banished. Uh, teleport in front of the door will teleport out of his existence. Aww. <laughs> I, hit, I hit the dock with the magic sword. <laughs> That's oh, a critical! Nice. Hey! Damn, we have some fire today! Uh, 9 plus 8 plus 7. So 9 I'm plus 15, enough. so 24. So, still alive! Yeah, Move backwards. I just imagine he is walking like no one's business. The scary thing screams like a face, he just vanishes it and he throws the sword to the floor. Like, you are not done with me. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, has just pointed out and said, go away. So, yeah, Hess's turn. Hess is done, so Donner. Donner? 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 Donner. Sorry, I was muted. Ah, right. Uh, sorry, 5, 10, 20. Wait, we can cut corners, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. 25, 30, all right. Lightning bolt! Is it time for this happy boy? So... Is it... Yeah, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll lightning bolt. <laughs> Go for it! Wait, when did that guy come? Oh, uh, I, I stopped, I stopped banishment on him. Oh. But hasn't it already been a minute since then? No. no. It had not been ten rounds. Okay. Um, so can you give me a uh, deck saves for the most I can hit sure. this? I mean, I do have advantage because magic resistance. Yay! Yeah. But I also don't have any bonus, so it's literally well eighteen. Uh, the eighteen. Pretty sure, and yeah, it is. So then I take half damage. Yep. So. 86. So it should be 14, but I further half it, so it's only 7. So, I'm still alive. Just look at that crisp yeah. lightning bolt. I know, but still, Donner, I live. Uh, flies back dejectedly and just says, I don't know if I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> Shafnium! Alright. Let's see what we got here. Is yeah. he still afraid of Ravendell? No. Nope. nope. Okay. Uh, would he have heard that this creature just showed up again? No, because he hasn't even moved. Like, he's just... Sh the, the, he's just appeared, plopped, and I was like... Aru? Alright, in that case... Um, Shaftnium still has a whole bunch of vials of water, right? Yeah. Three, four, that's five... Six, seven. Well, he can move 80 feet and then just dump a whole bunch of water on this thing, right? Mm, you could try, yes. Alright, I'm just going to do that and just throw a whole bucket of poisoned water on this. Alright, he looks at you, huffs, and then he goes, You know, that would have been nice, but I am immune to being poisoned and I have immunity to poison. Oh. Yeah, it's just... A... talk? It actually does, but uh, you know, like, like it actually looks at him and goes, "Well, you're gonna die. You know that." I'll die having used my tongue for better things than you ever could dream of. <clears throat> That's kind of fun. Well, uh, Ravendell. Yeah. What do you do? It's your turn. Well. <clears throat> Funny you should say that, since, uh, uh, let me check, can I do this shit? 
I'm going to teleport with my misty step right into the dog space. It's like a good idea. 10, 15, 20, 20. Yep, I should go right to. 15, I think I'm two steps away from it. Uh, not if I use my meta magic and extend it to 60. <laughs> go for it! Nothing personnel, kid. The, the dog looks at you and goes, Sure, now miss every single attack and then we'll see. <coughs> Go for it. Yeah, one sec, one sec, one sec. And I have my... After I do my Hunter's Mark as well. Another bonus section. Sure. Like it's looking at you going, Sure. Now... Aura. Aura. So... And... Ooh, nice. So... And that's... 3d6s. Oh, well, but it's dead. It's dead, oh. don't worry. So, as you strike him with Nagling, the creature actually whimpers and disappears into ashes. Oh, it disappears completely. Dang. You then hear a noise echoing throughout the place. It's uh, kind of like a grumble, a wail of sorts. You have no idea what happened, but you just look around puzzled by it. Okay. Uh, well, I... you did kill it. Okay, I guess that's it. Not like the. Is there. A... I don't think there's another dog here, is it? Not that you see it. <laughs> okay. Do you celebrate when you manage to kill it? Like, going ta 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 yeah. There is food on the warm water, and the terrible servant is just moving around between the dishes and cooking food. I think I'm gonna take a snack. Yeah, sure. Out to be so then, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty decent food. I mean, it's kind of exotic with exotic spices, but not that bad actually. Pose, it's your turn. Right. Um. Uh. Uh, trusting Rav and Donner and Hess to be able to handle that guy and seeing that chap rushed off on his own, fucking numpty, I'm gonna try and follow him. Sure. Uh, oh wait, no, that's, that's 30 feet. I don't think I'll be able to do much of that. Here, here, here's what you can do, right? Five. Hold on, um. How do I... Sorry, I think it's... This, and then that... No, what? How do I do the thing? Well... Shit! I don't know. Uh, well, pose. Fine, just, you can probably make You can probably make it, if you... Yeah, but then she, she would have to do That's double 30. movement. Yes. Um... Dash, like, uses up my action, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm. Oh. There we go. So, with that. And... How much does she move to be there? Wait! No, hold on. You have that tabaxi thing. She already yeah, used it. I already used it. And I can only... I. Wait, in my last turn, I didn't move at all, did I? Nope. I didn't no, notice. I have it back. I yeah, have it back. you're right. So, then, that's another... Uh, you can double your movement speed. You can't use it again until you move zero feet on one of your turns. That's All right. a full 30 right there. Yes, and you do and see that uh, Shavdium is busy with this strange creature who's strangely wet now. You <laughs> Shav, what the fuck? Um, and then, because I don't want Shav actually right in front of him, I will actually <laughs> use... That. Ah. I so, don't know if he'll be able to make it. So, he well, can, a constitution obviously. saving throw. Well, I do have advantage, so... Ah, shit. Let's see. And I do yeah. think I have a plus two of... Yes, I have a plus three. So I do make the save. So I am not moved at all. 
but he still gets nine damage. Chef? All right, I have some flower. Actually, uh, wait, I don't take damage because on a failed save, I take the damage. I succeeded. So I just oh, right, right, look okay. at you and I'm like, yeah, no, no dice. Shaf, you have to make the save too, the constitution save. Oh. Yep. Let me hit the button. I'll probably fail this one. I mean, yep. Oh, Jesus. So it's level 11, so it's 3d6, so yeah, it's uh, 9 damage and you are pushed away. No, you're not. Isn't it? Which which one is the one where they're pushed away? Because you did thunderclap clap versus thunder wave, so it's oh, like oh right okay. So okay. this one just makes a lot of noise, which everyone in the dungeon can pretty much hear as it ripples across everywhere, and even uh, Ravandiel is eating is going. Hey, there's thunder! It's going to be raining soon. That's fine. They already had an alarm going anyway. So. Yeah, that's true. I mean, okay, I got it confused with Thunderwave. What's the worst that could happen? So, can I can I use my bonus action to shove him five feet forward? Shove him, you mean? Yes. If he wants to get shoved, shove him. Do you want to get shoved, or do you prefer to stay where you are? Uh, move me wherever you think is a better strategic position. So then you just use your bonus action to push him five feet up. Yeah. Yes. So he's still technically within. Yes. Within attacking range, so he's not going to suffer. Exactly. He's not going yeah, to suffer. That's it. All right. And that's it on your end, pose. Yep, that's it on my end. So then, just give me a second. We're going to be having such a fun time, I guess. I hope not, but you never know. Ooh, I made a mistake. Well, the recording is probably going to show up where I was heading, and you'll be like, shice, but I mean... You're not going to show it to us until... Yeah, until, until you're pretty much anyway, dead. So. I mean... If so, just so you know, your death will be really, really painful, but it will lead to a better tomorrow, maybe. So, let's start in order. <laughs> so, let's roll the initiative of these two dashing fellows who... So, well... I think that's kind of like, you know, a, a, a moment when you look at it and you're like, damn! <sighs> and uh, then let's see this other guy. I mean, I think I'm going to keep him a surprise until it's actually his turn. So I'll just roll his initiative and then <laughs> when he pops up, he does. Nice! <laughs> so he'll pop up. Just give me a second. So, why are you not in the map layer? You, I'll move you to the GM layer, so even if I put you in the initiative order, they won't be able to see you until it's too late! And death comes to you all. So, alright. So, order. Descending. We were past Pose. We were at the Canarot. Who looks at Pose, looks at Shafnium, huffs and puffs, and then pretty much meh. between the two of you let's see who was I tasked with dealing with well Ravandiel isn't here uh, pose tongue attack oh dear okay do I hit Fucking yes. Just At this point, uh, so I also have advantage for the bite, so I'll just roll the bite too. So 23 also hits uh, 23. Yeah. Alright, so it's bite and tongue. So, well, so how much damage is it? I mean, there's no critical hits here, so you might survive it. Why wouldn't you? 
I have my fingers crossed. You are, however, restrained until the grapple ends and we have to do the escape, and you know. And. Uh, oh, yes. Alright. So! 39 damage! Oof! <laughs> The, and you are restrained and pretty much moved uh, here, to the front where he is. Then, since you are still conscious, he can only move 5 feet with you. I am on 28 hit points. Yep, but still uh, conscious. So then... 28 hit points. Oh. Yeah. Has... Uh, I don't know what should do. I didn't go down to the entire thing. Yeah. You know, this calls for a bat now. <laughs> Could you imagine? What? No. what? Uh, don't worry about it. It was just a joke. Yeah, but the uh, I mean, like, <laughs> what, how, which enemies are there? There's... Wait. Why is the... What's the, what's the guy still in it? I mean... He... He clearly mm -hmm. went to get reinforcements, and then he came back. He might be somewhere just out of sight. Okay, well, I'm gonna go into this room, then. And, um, I don't know, just hang out with my uncle. Yeah, sure. That seems like yeah, a, a decent mm, idea, I guess. That's my turn. Sure. Then, Donner! Uh, okay, Donna's gonna go into the room. How oh, close do I want to be to? Mm, just in case, I'll move up here. Um, is there any actual priority right now? Mm, I mean, the room is as you see it. Yeah. Eh, I don't think Donner would be suspicious enough to really set anything up, so I think I'll just end my turn there. Alright. Now it's the guy's turn! Ah, uh, so. Well, I shouldn't be happy. Oh, oh boy. It's time for the. It's time for the fucking. Everybody dies. It's time eh, for the TPK. It depends. It might. No, I mean. This guy is pretty clearly like a fucking. So like he's immune to magic, basically. Well, I'm not talking about the Rakshasa. Oh. So the door on the upper right opens, as a figure steps out into its corners and reveals itself to you. So what the fuck is that? You are the intruders who are apparently eating my stuff and fighting my allies. It stares at you all with cold hatred in its eyes. Is this supposedly Shurazun? No. 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 It clearly... No, like, it, I'm, I'm thinking it's like some guy pretending to be Shurazun. I doubt it. Well, uh, let's see. So, you come into my realm, you seek my things, and you would even question my alliances? You know, you are fools! And you fools are going to be useful, perhaps, to the likes of me. Or maybe you'll be dead. Yeah, that could be true. So, a 20-foot square... Mm. Oh! Oh! I know what that is! Yeah? No. I think that is, um, a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a mind flare, but it's a magic mind flare who, yes. who, who the dude who get fucking, they got bullied by other mind flares because they're so <laughs> fucking, they're fucking nerds. Are those the, is that Neil Kid? Oh, that shit. is an elected, or well, it was one. Now it's one no longer. However, oh, is, is all it an illith lich? E no. A if it, and a mind flare. So if it had been an illith lich, I would have actually been hating you very much. Yeah, no, that, this is, is not an illith lich. This is an. Like a, 
It's an, an Alun. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's an yeah. it's an Alun. A Brock Shasa and a Mind Flayer. You're spoiling us today, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> I know. I know. I I, I was like, and you know what? You could actually have an easy time if you weren't split the fuck up. Yeah, that's because, my fault. Because, because here's the thing, a, a good, good banishment, banishment would have gotten rid of the main problems, problems like it did with the Bone Claw and the two things, and the casters are literally casters. They could have been hit really, really easily while in close range, but you're split. And so, now, while well, the thing throws the black tentacles, Evert's black tentacles, so the, the terrain in which these people are standing is difficult, and uh, I know it. I'm a ranger. So yeah, but well, te dexterity saving throw. Uh, okay. Um. By S uh, Donner and uh, Ravandir. Okay. Yeah, perfect. All right. Now only Donner. Wow, and I, I'm the one who throws really high rolls, and I, 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 seriously, I am the one who's, uh, so, I've done that, I have no short range cantrips, so. Oh, uh, 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 a fucking, uh, Jacob, shit, sh no, sorry, fuck, what was I about to say, I forgot. Well, you, you are surrounded by black tentacles, anyway. And uh, the Alun looks at you and snarls as he realizes you are managing to avoid them. Oh, wait, wait, is this... is this the spell that I think it is? Evert's Black Tentacles, yes. Wait, no, that's not... that's not what spell I thought it was, but it works. I mean, if you want, I can... I can start with Disintegrate, if you prefer, but I'd like to keep... Fucking warlock on top of everything else. We are no, fucking he's, a warlock, mind slayer, and a rakshasa in the same he, day. He is, Rakshasa. He is um. He is. He's just an arcanist. So then, that doesn't make it better. I mean, it kind of does. Yeah. Think about it. Well, so and if you're thinking about it, then stop thinking about it. He threw the spell. He spoke his uh, nasty, angry words, and. Uh, then he just scoffs and goes, Huh, I want to see you do better than this. Shafnium! Uh, you are seeing Pose getting dragged away by the Canolot. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe finish off with this thing so you can come and help us. Yeah, this perfectly fresh, undamaged creature. Hey, you know how I'm restrained, right? Yes. Do I? Does that mean that just my my movement is zero, or can I still like move my hands and stuff? Well, well here's the thing: restrained. Uh, they, it's uh, you have uh, wait. Your speed becomes zero. Attack rolls against you have advantage, and so technically you can't move. It doesn't mean you cannot move your hands though. Apparently, because uh, again. You have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws, but nothing stops you from actually throwing spells. Don't okay, ask me wonder. why. That's, that's just out? what I want to know, because some of my spells is, like, somatic. Component. I know. I, I'm like, I don't know why, but it's like this. So, um, okay, so can I reach out, grab pause, and then cast Dimension Door and drop a whole bunch of caltrops at the same time. So, so I grab her, we teleport away, and there's a whole bunch of here's the thing covering this area right you here. You cannot teleport away from the canalot. Yeah, they have a their dimensional anchors. Basically. Exactly. So. Uh, <laughs> okay, can I take a really big nail and a hammer and then pin his tongue to the wall? It, can, you can just punch it. I mean, you <laughs> could do that. The thing is... It's, instead it's, of punching, I want to just knock a nail through the tongue. Yes, but the wall, here's like the thing. Every time what, you, punch. what you actually rec would have to do would be to grapple it, restrain it, and then you could uh, pin his tongue to the wall. Yes. Yeah, Chef Neb is used to kidnapping people. Let's see how this goes. Let's go! <laughs> I am willing to let you do it! Jesus go for it! Christ, Shafnir, just hit what do I roll? However, first you have to free 
pose from the tongue, so ah, it's a I strength, do. athletics, the difficulty check is 15. Okay, so I have to Can pass I a strength help? check of 15. No, Holy it's shit. not your turn, pose. You will have to stay as the damsel in distress <laughs> for Shafnium to save and prove that he can at least save someone with his hands. Well, I will can I at least throw a bunch of marbles tree. on the floor and knock this thing over? He That's is on, uh, I mean, he is on four legs, so... So, yes? You could try. I'll, I'll argue All right, that you I'll, can try. I'll throw a bunch of marbles on the floor and knock this, uh, this fucker over. Well, and I'm let's still do it like tough. that. Well, yes, but now he isn't able to hold on to you as well, because he's rolling around on the floor and... Oh, you are too. I mean... Yes. He, he actually doesn't... He, he just stays there, like he looks at you, and uh, his feet are firmly planted on the ground, and as long as he doesn't move them, the, the marbles don't... He cannot slip on something he doesn't step on, so he looks at you, while still holding on to pose, and goes... You like, speaking as if he had his mouth all full, like, you really have to... to do all of this work? Can't you just chill, man? Just relax. Can you not slobber on me. Like, like you shut up. I'm restrained, but I don't need your slobber, okay? It's you shut up. up. I'm just doing my it's, job. It's getting on my fur. And I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why everyone's laughing when the cannon was just. <laughs> All right, now take a deep breath, everyone. So I'm gonna punch him in the face. All right. Fine. <laughs> Go for it. All right. And I'm going to make it a flurry of blows. So it's going to be swing, swing. Go. Swing, swing, orangutan. Wow. Like, nice. the first one oh. requires skill to pull. Like. Wow. I, I am You're demanding an one. inspiration for that one. <laughs> I, I'm using an inspiration. I'm re-rolling that. All right. <laughs> All right, you hit with You're both. both. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus, wow. All right. And then I get an extra attack. Go for it. Where <coughs> it blows. Swing, swing. So swing, swing, or swing. The, the third one misses, the last one hits. Oh, can I make that? Can I make that a uh, stunning Stun. strike? You can try. It's a constitution saving from my end, right? Yes. All it's right. So, oh, is it con? Let me check. Yes, it, it should be con. I mean, it's a stunning strike. It's normally always con. Alright. And I fail, so I'm stunned. Okay. So, uh, pause. You should be able to bust out and just really hurt this guy. Uh, by the way, there's a whole bunch of marbles on the floor, so... Be uh, careful not to slip on Yeah, them. I know whose fault that is. I mean, the dexterity saving throw is 12, so... You just need to do better than 12, pose. Okay. But anyway. Do I have to roll it now? No. Or so, it... Ravandil, you are standing in the middle of black tentacles. So kindly, do give me another dexterity saving throw. Okay, then. One sec. Uh, I believe. I'm... Not in you. But still, I believe! But oh, sweet Jesus, why? So you are restrained. That is horrible. <laughs> and you suffer 15 damage. Like, well, look at it! Triple five! Oh my god. Um, so you okay, can... Yeah, we're blow. Here, but, uh... So you can now use your action to try and break free, of course. Oh, God, I hate you uh, all. Question, does being restrained 
prevent you from casting spells? No, it doesn't. Somehow it doesn't. Don't ask me why, but it doesn't. Wait, you say this is the cooked terrain, Dwester? <coughs> yes. I'm immune to it. I yeah, know. but you're not immune to the tentacles. Like, it's uh, it's difficult terrain and there are tentacles. It's like... Right. It's a combination of the two things. Okay, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec. It's, uh, it, it's uh, an acrobatics check, right? Yes. Uh, a strength of dexterity check, yes. I think I escape with that AP. And let's see. I mean, it would be a p yes, you do escape with an 18, but it was your action. So yeah, and I'm going to use my bonus action with my meta magic to cast uh, a cure wounds and drink a potion. So uh, wait, you either you only have yeah okay. you only have one bonus action. Yeah, I'm going to drink a lesser uh, potion, which is a uh, uh, what was it again? One d four plus one, I think. Two d four. Can you guys believe I haven't taken any damage? Two d four plus two. That's the. Uh... Yeah, Hess actually hasn't taken damage yet. It's true, the one time. Miracles happen. Yeah, she's going to be the only one alive while everybody's di every everyone else dies, and then she'll be like, I mean, Jeez. All right. I mean, I can probably bring everybody back. Well, I'm barely alive. Well, so Ravendiel, you still have uh, the movement action. Oh, okay, so I'm going to I mean, to you did free yourself, so... Let's see, it's a five. Oh, shit. No, no don't worry, it's a story. 20, 20, 25. Uh, to be... Shoot, shoot some arrows at it. I, I can't. I use my action. I yeah, use a, a, to break free. Oh, well, I guess you're useless then. Oh, wow. You're yeah, going to be useless then uh, when you try to escape. I say, how are you? Um, so um, I'm not gonna fucking miss the the the, the 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 saving throw for once, and if I am, then I'm not gonna bother trying to get out of it. Okay, that's my. All uh, right. Okay. So <clears throat> then, uh, no. Pose. Uh, Don Yeah. Ah, do yeah. Donner has a twenty. Yeah, but so. He... You're down for the one-two punch, right? Yeah. Okay, but I'm I'm gonna need you to use your your largest your large your largest spell slot to get that max deeps. Okay. Well, sorry. So, pose. Okay. Um. Thus far, we haven't like I know that this thing is um resistant to all magic. Or yes, you noticed it okay. pretty clearly that it's resistant to all kinds of magic. Okay. Uh, I'm just debating as to whether it'd be better if I. Oh, um, like me breaking out of being restrained. Does that come? Does is that my action or is it that... actually is your action? Okay. However, when the creature is stunned, so when it's his turn, he probably won't be able to, you know, restrain you again. Hmm. That's true. If I drew it shape into a larger... Well, no, I, I can't because the size of that area is not going to fit me. Uh, you should you should have eaten uh, less, uh, less food, Pose. That's why you don't fit in the... <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's all fur! Yeah, sure! It's padding. <laughs> So, uh, I'll take a page out of Donner's book and uh, lightning bolt him. Nice. I mean, I don't have any bonus to sha for Ooh, one. So I yes. just I do half the damage, but I do take half the damage. So ah, uh, okay. So is that? Like, uh, does he fall over onto the marble? No, he doesn't. He's staying where he is. Oh, is that what? What's his plus thing? What? Dexterity. Ten. Oh, okay. It's a perfect oh, ten. Ah. It's staying there, firmly planted, looking at you and going, "Why are you like?" His speech is slurred because what? he's uh, he's Wait, being stunned. He's paralyzed plus lightning. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "I'm just doing my job. I hate." 
So. Wait, question. Why does it take half damage? Because uh, it has resistance to lightning damage. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. it does. Yes. Sorry, I didn't see that. Damage resistance! It's written <laughs> right back! <laughs> I didn't see it, you know? I wonder if it's too late for diplomacy. Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you you, you had started really, really well, and then... Uh, I mean, that was... That, it wasn't our fault negotiations broke I down. I mean, Let's you were honest. told not to bother the guy. I met a fucking uh, Rakshasa that so, basically one, said he wiped two, out my clan. I am not letting so, anyone else... Yeah. So the, the Rakshasa appears from this other door, lo looks at you, looks at Hess, and goes, You know what, little girl? It's time no, for no. you to go the fuck to sleep. Don't. Don't do that. And then he starts, you know, doing what must be done. <laughs> oh, wait. Are you... Are you... Are you no. sleeping? I mean, here's the thing. What's her race again? Uh, I am not a tiefling. I am a, a, a an elf. <gasps> yes. Don't you have? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You do <laughs> realize. Yes. Yeah. No. You don't get it. You do realize. What? You do realize. I go, I I went near to her because I was Wait. going to swipe her with clothes. Oh. I like, thought you meant. I thought you were gonna cast sleep or something. No, I mean I could yeah. cast on you, dominate person, but no. Damn it! I'm literally going to attack you. Lame. I know, but Only I have two close little... attacks, so. Only the losers. Thought that he was gonna oh. put her to sleep. So Only... the first is a critical hit. The second misses, but the first is a critical. Uh, I will use the thing of the thing. All right, uh, so, so it's, it's not a critical hit. It's just, it's a, just normal a normal attack. Hit. Yeah. All right. So while we're at it, do give me a ah no Wait, nothing. Uh, you are actually cursed. No questions asked. All right. Yeah. Ah, shit. What does the curse do? You gain no benefit from short or long rests. Okay. I can I can remove that later. So, I think maybe. Yeah. If you live. You can get those remove gas. So That's it's the ten damage from one okay. swipe of a claw, which opens a gash across your face, as uh, the Rakshasa. Then uh, pleasantly purrs, sweet dreams, little girl, sweet dreams indeed. <sighs> so, I mean, the save DC in this circumstance would be 10. So, constitution <laughs> saving for 10 to keep concentration. Oh, shit. Yep. No worries. Yeah, that's fine. Then, the Rakshasa doesn't actually move, but the Canalot. So, from this door up here, one and two, hello and welcome everybody to the final page in this chapter, or so it would seem. So, uh, yeah, I don't see how we can actually win this one. So, the Canalot by Poe's side, uh, again, is stunned, so it will do only one thing. At this point, it's just going to be a bite. Which misses. Yeah. The other Canalot, which is here instead, looks at the target and directed by the will of Alun, slams its tongue against uh, Hess. Hess? Yes. Oh, okay. You're the one who's using concentration to keep the poor little tender bone claw away. Yes. And I miss with a 13. <laughs> I hate my life. Well then, he's done. He can't bite. Because you're not close and he already... So then, Hess, you have to uh, give me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Good. You're, co my dick. you're cool now, Hess. What do you do? Um, I go over here first. Alright, so you step outside of a... Uh... Knife this guy with my, <laughs> with my, yes, with, with my thing, with well, my uh, there, spiritual so. weapon. Sure, hit me if you can. Does so, twenty-one hit? And now I'm like, yeah, no, why not? Yes, you do hit him. It's a twenty-one. I hope it fucking hits. <laughs> I'm like, no, you don't. Sixteen damage. <laughs> All right, he takes the damage. And then I do a thing. I cast. 
I, 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 uh, thing of thing on this thing. What's right, it called? A uh, path to the grave. Right here. Yes. Ah, on the balloon. Right. So. Yes. Right. Right on. Right on the Arcanist. Arcanist. So radiant Arcanist. damage. What? What did you say? No. Path to the grave. Yes. So vulnerability to what damage? To... All damages. No. Uh, all damage. All right. So he's now vulnerable to the next attack. Right. Yes. All right. Come on, Donner. It's set up so perfectly. So then now uh, it's... <laughs> what? Uh, I think. I can't do anything more. Well, actually, maybe I should... Yeah, I'm gonna try to leave. No, wait, I shouldn't. Because then it gets opportunity attacks. And then I lose concentration anyway. All right. So um, then... Yeah, I'll stay here and end my turn. So, Donner... It's your turn. Well, I've been waiting for this moment for a while. Oh. <laughs> that is a really nice spell. So you aim it on the Alun, right? What? Yeah. Um, so, how does the chain lightning... Damage, oh my god. So Okay, so, uh, it... Uh, first target just gets hit, and then three bolts, uh, then leap from that target. All right, the and the first targets. one you are aiming for is the Alun, correct? Yeah. All right, the spell is a what level spell? Uh, six. Six? All right. We don't have anything higher than that, so... But no, that's fine, that's fine. So... All right. Sure. Well... Counterspell. No, can I counterspell his counterspell? I mean, I think you can. Yes, exactly. you can. Let me check it because at this point I want to check it. Well, can you counterspell a counterspell? Let's you see. Can counterspell. Counterspell. The you can counterspell. Yes. You attempt to interrupt the creature in the process of casting a spell. So and wait, wait. The answer is Just. yes. As long as you're interrupting him countering the spell, then you can counter the spell. Uh, so, it's so counter counter spell. So 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 so. All right. Yes. Yeah, you are lucky. You. If it hadn't been for you, for for you band of kids and your stupid cat, I would have gotten <laughs> away with it. <laughs> Uh, now, I want to watch that the anime music is playing. Hey, yeah, it's it's literally lightning <laughs> bolt, and the alun is going no, Hora! and uh, Shaf and uh, Ravadil goes no to you. No, no, no. Like he's about to like cast. I won't let you. And then I just cast him like, kill your daughter, Jay. Oh my God. <laughs> the, the epic music is playing. <laughs> is, is it time for the one-two punch? How much does an how much health does a mind flower arcanist even have? Well, that's so, a one kill. Well, if it goes through, if it goes through, no, he's still alive. Even if it what? goes through, yeah, no, no, no it's, it's fifty-one damage. It becomes one hundred and two. Yes, but it, it's not an arcan. It's an alun. Alun. Oh. What? What's that? It's a, an undead. Mind failure. Isn't that isn't that a mind? Isn't that an illulu? No, the alun is the middle ground. It's like uh, there were the illitich, and then there were the failed products of the illitich. The failed products are called aluns. They have a lower challenge rating. I mean, I hate you, oh, but okay. not this much people. Come on, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, jeez. So. Well, anyway, it's kill, kill the shit out of it. How do you spell Alun? Ah, but wait, I do have a dexterity saving throw. You're right, I do yeah. get... I, I forgot to throw my dexterity... But that's... that's only... It would have... half damage. Yeah, so then I would take... 51 damage. I mean, I do have plus one to dexterity. Come on! No! <laughs> oh. I'm so sad! <laughs> so. so then the bolts depart and go also for the dog. I guess. So the dog has plus zero. The dog okay. takes... Uh, I, I do feel bad for hitting the dog. <laughs> you shouldn't. Kind of. But he does take half damage, the dog, because of uh, <coughs> resistance. And uh, the Rakshasa just 
doesn't take damage. <laughs> so Verakshaza just looks at you and goes, Ah! Even I felt that! Alright, uh, and Donner is going to fly out of the tentacle zone. Alright. Ooh, right, you were in the tentacle zone. Sorry. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Donner, 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 Donner! There we are. Well, the spell no. still went through because it, re but you would have been restrained, so you're not flying anywhere. And um, you, I think you do I think, think, yeah. I, I I think maybe the I'm not I'm gonna have to check this obviously, but I think the the specifically the flying from casting lightning spells ignores that sort of thing. I mean, let me check. He would have been restrained before getting through the flying, so. Um, I mean, I he would have to do the escape uh, check to break free. Like, uh, oh, no, it's not a provoking opportunity. It's yeah, but it's mind. not a matter yeah. of provoking yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. So it's five damage, and you are actually restrained on the spot, so you're not moving from that donor. F. So then, uh, the Alun has been grievously injured. Actually, he looks at you all. <laughs> Hell he's, yeah, donor. Size narrow, and he's like, I am done being nice. I am literally done. Now, literally you... done. Now you die. Oh Not shit! Figuratively done. What's he going to cast? Oh, oh god! Is he gonna cast oh, fucking? Uh, no ah, so, so he cast uh, um uh the black tentacles. He did, oh. which is a cons. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> you are right. You are right. So let me. So it would be half a damn. Now, I, I would, I'm not going to be able to make a DC 60 or something. No, wait, it's half the damage, actually. So it's a DC 51. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, nah, he fails. <laughs> the tentacles go away. But they do go away. You, I mean, you do take the, the initial damage. Then they right. go away. But so you can actually fly screen. back, yes. Yeah, you can fly back. Go there. All right. Uh, suck a penis. Well... The Alun looks at you all, points his finger in the direction of Hess, I guess. Oh, yes, you're the one who made him vulnerable to the lightning, and you are the one who's going to get paid to, to pay for it. And Yeah. So this is going to hurt a lot if you get hit. So. No, it will not. You already yeah, used the I... counter spell. It's not your I... turn. You cannot reuse it. it. It's a reaction, and it's not your turn yet. So, uh, yeah. the Alun points its finger towards Hess and goes, <laughs> Cleric of a fickle fake deity. Now, hey, fuck you. you die. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. The save DC should be 16. Oof. You Were you about to cast Disintegrate at me? I was about to cast Disintegrate at you. <laughs> I mean, uh, you do take the damage on a failed save. Uh, no, I do not. Ah, you're right, on a failed save, the target... Nothing yeah, happened. so you succeeded, yes. Alright. Yeah, you're fine then, I guess. You guess? Yeah, I'm like, oh, come on, not even half damage? Oh, I'm like, oof, this is so sad. Well, anyway, you do see death passing you by, because this kind of thin ray of green just passes n near your head and goes off in the distance. And you look Listen. at it, and then it goes, okay. well, one, two, three, four, five. It's been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> he just leaves. I mean, uh, what do you want him to do? He's not uh, stupid. He's not going to hang around when he has like... Jesus, fuck he has 10 hit points left. He's not coming ah, back fuck, until... He has 10 hit points. He's not coming back until he got uh, back uh, on his feet. So let's see how which, fast he can move. Yeah, just... Which, uh, which, which door did you want to go through? This one. So one... Okay. So I'm Are counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Door number one. All right. And that was his, he did the action, so that was his movement. 
as a bonus? Does he maybe have something mm -hmm. that can work on his end? Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't. Well then. So, Shafnium, you still have a candle lot in front of you. All right. I'm a hit it. I'm a hit it with the ba ba. Yeah, if I can kill the Canaloth, please, so we can All right. kill this this actually quite terrifying wizard boy, Rakash. All right, they do both hit. Sure, still alive though. Okay, and again. Key point for another two, but uh, the last one misses. The third one does hit. Man, I keep getting these near crits. I mean... Sounds I'm, like a you problem. I mean, look at Hess surviving the dexterity saving and not suffering 10d6 <sighs> plus 40 damage. Like, Listen, I'm okay. gonna make that a stunning strike, by the way. Hess has the power of so God another... and of inner side, so... Yeah, yeah. She's, she's he's, uh, wait, is 16 enough to pass the, constitu the saving throw? Uh, is it? I don't know, it's your stunning oh blow! God. Let me go ch look up what the stunning strike thing is again. Uh, DC. 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom modifier. Your proficiency bonus as a 7th level monk is plus 3. So, 8 plus 3, that's 11, plus your wisdom. Okay, let's play, uh, what's my wisdom? It is... Oh, uh, proficiency is always your sum total of levels, not the highest level. Oh, okay, so 11, so it's 12 plus your... So, how much do you have in wisdom? 12 plus uh, your wisdom. I have a plus 4 for wisdom. So then it's a, it's a 16? 16. And... So, so I do pass. It. So I'm not yeah. stunned. Can I use cutting words to fix that? Yeah, you can actually. Yeah. Okay. Wait, though, well, is cutting words a reaction? Uh, it is a cutting word a reaction. When you All right. when someone does something, you can use your reaction to expand one of uses of your body inspiration. All right. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I I don't want to go for a low hanging fruit by insulting him with his tongue. <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> it's, it's right too... there. <laughs> He's oh, serving God. it on a on a silver platter. I mean, cutting words as long as is there like a safety C or something? No, I, I'm I'm writing out what he's actually saying. Yeah, no, but I'm looking at the cutting word thing. Hmm. Ah, uh, wait, wait. You cannot use a ta you cannot use cutting words on saving foes. You can use it against ability checks, damage rolls, or attack rolls, but not against saving throws. I just finished writing the insult. I, I know, but I just finished reading the, the thing. I'm very proud of this. I, I am I'm not, not. I'm not proud of that. I, I am yeah, not. So, uh -huh. so it, it just looks at you and goes, That's offensive. <laughs> well, so, Ravandil, your turn. Okay, well, since uh, if I use Fireball, it's not going to do anything. Nope. Yeah, we gotta hit him brute force style. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I've got my haste on, I'm going to activate my Hunter's Mark, and I'm going to attack the Rakshasa. Sure, with what? With my bow. Question, You, your alignment, what is it? Uh, funny question, what's my alignment? I think it was Lawful Evil? Wait, your alignment was lawful evil? Yeah, he you of all people! <laughs> <laughs> the guy who wants to try to be a hero? I mean, no, you wait, can be... Uh, oh, wait, uh, no, my bad. That was my old one. Mine is neutral uh, good. Yeah. Ah, you're a neutral, neutral good! 
Hey, nah. new trophy, buddy. All right, so all right. Yeah, that's oh. oh, wait, isn't it? Isn't that's the, the, why the, I asked. The, that's why thing, I asked. like vulnerability against good people. No, it has vulnerability against piercing attacks from good people. That's why I asked. Oh, so arrows are the first one, exactly. So the first one misses. The other two do hit and you double damage. Who would have thought that there was a perfectly viable way of dealing with an enemy as long as you remembered stuff? Who would have thought? Why the fuck? Wait, so good people can't hurt Rakshasas? No, well. The Rakshasas have vulnerability, so they take double damage oh, if it's a piercing weapon wielded by a good person. That's, that's such a weird, like... Yeah, but on the other hand, they are immune to any spell of 6th level or, or lower, so it's like... It balances out! How? In what universe is that balance? In the universe where dragons fly and talk and want to feed you! Uh, and uh, fuck you, let's forget that. So, as the arrows dig into Rakshasa, it grins and smears as it looks at Ravandil. Fa! Finally! A silver hand! I will enjoy ripping your screams out of your throat! No, okay. what? Well, yeah, you can try. My mother already did that a long time ago. So, yeah, that old bitch used to be such a problem. Thankfully, we got rid of our heart while we were at it. Ha! So oh. then, Pose, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm so sad Pose can't hear this right now. Yeah. Oh my god. That would be so much roleplay stuff later on. I can't wait, believe look. Ravendell's mom was actually good the whole time. Wait, but wait. But just heartless. Is this Kingdom Hearts? Wait, is she like, <laughs> is she like Korra from like... Uh, <laughs> what the fuck up? What's up the time? Do you think I you accusing her of being a psychopathic lesbian? Is that what, what this is? What? Come on now, people, let's... Wait, what? Pose! Korra's a psychopath. Uh, okay, hold, up, hold up, hold up. Well, wait. I know Korra's a psychopath, but that's because she's a lesbian. Yes. I don't know about the lesbian. So, people! First, let's finish the fight. Come on, then you can deal with the discoveries afterwards. So, okay, right, right. Okay. Um, Canalot in front of Pose. How how's that Canalot looking? Pretty healthy, actually. It's staring at you and go. Yeah, but it's actually kind of huffing and puffing, but not because it's damaged, but because it's kind of like, why are you making this so difficult? Off. Off. I just want to eat you. <laughs> Come on, just get kidnapped. Uh, I don't Kid wanna get kidnapped. Well, it's not my fault you broke the doors and I have to go be put in prison. Huh. Wait a yeah, second. Well, you can you can eat on this. <laughs> I mean the safety C is twelve. Seriously? I know, it's a constitution. I, I like I'm like, I probably I shouldn't have what? I mean, Wait, why is it 12? Why is it 12? Why is it 12? I don't know! You're the one who, well, even if it's 17, I passed it, but if okay. it's more than 17. Um, it was probably 16. I just have to figure out why it's 12. So it's just half damage? Yes. So Blight is a poison damage, right? No, no necrotic. It's necrotic. It's necrotic. And I take it fully, I guess. Yes, I do take it fully. Good. Oh my god, finally. But it's half because I passed the save, so... Yeah, so it's 20. So it's still alive! And it halves, like, why? So then, after pose, the Rakshasa. The Rakshasa sigs as it realizes that the Alun just escaped, and uh, he's like, Ah, I should have found... I'm yeah. just gonna click this again just to check yes, that sure. DC. Why is it coming up as twelve? I don't know. Why is it now a, a twenty-three hour? Because it was free once and you're... so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry too much about the second uh, damage. It's the Rakshasa just six. It's like spellcasters, truly. Why can't they learn to get along as other people do? Aren't you also a spellcaster? Yes, but I have style. Which is why I'm going to claw your face off. 
<laughs> he's like, he's like, he thinks I'm going to say, you know, this is why I am going to claw your face off. And I miss with the first attack, I think. <laughs> wow. There we go. That's but that's I do right. hit that's with the like second cool. one. Yes. Um, are you sure about that? It's a 25. Oh, no, no. If it's... A nice little spell called... What? I do not have shield. Ah, so... You're not around. I have shield, though. Yeah, but it's only personal. Um, you can't shield well. somebody else. Yeah. So, Hess, you take seven more damage from the Rakshasa. <laughs> I thought this thing was dangerous. Yeah, I know. I know, he's sad. Then, well, it's a uh, Canalot stuff, so the guy who's here... Wait, sorry, here... What, how, how much, for how much damage did the Canalot hit me? No, no, this was the Rakshasa that hit yes. me. And then it's the Canalot, so the Canalot who's here just drops oh. ahead... Looks at Hess and goes, "Well, time to take a bite and a to time to take some tongue and bite game." Ugh. Yeah, the Rakshasa looks at him and goes, "Have a bit of style. We are killing them, not." Yeah, but you know what? No, scratch that. He looks at Ravandale instead. What's with Carmelos wanting to eat him? Do I look tasty? No, I but do you use shield? Uh, wait, 21? Uh, uh, oh, wait, hold on, I don't need the shield. With the haste, it gives me plus one. I have 21. So I still and... hit you with 21. No, 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 and I have my... Yeah, wait. You have a long yeah, bow in your hands. You don't have a shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah I will use uh, my shield. And I so you use your reaction for the shield. All right. <laughs> so the tongue just misses you as the shield forms, and the, the dog goes, Uff, why... My life, why? Just a moment, because someone is sending me messages, and I'm like, who it is? <laughs> All right. All right, uh, nothing important. So, the other Canalot instead will go for the usual tongue plus bite on pose 19. Yeah, that hits. And then the bite with uh, advantage. So this is the f just let me see if maybe one of it. No, yeah, it's not a critical. Hits. So it's just a simple attack of tongue plus bite for a great. Oh. I mean, it could be worse. There could have been a critical in it. I'm probably gonna go down with this next attack. Ah, you never know. Maybe I roll low. Maybe I don't. 53! Scheiße! Double oh. 12! Wow! wow. <laughs> yeah, no, I am. What? That's a I lot am. of green numbers! <laughs> so, you're down, Pose. Uh, 53 minus. One second. <laughs> yeah, I am completely down. Alright, so when the Canelo takes you with its uh, tongue, which has restrained you in his mouth, and goes, Well. <clears throat> Now, like, while, while muttering, now I can bring you to prison and be done for today's shift. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, and huff. There you go. Following. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I you? gotta. I you gotta. You gotta probably uh, save our dear dead friend. So. Yeah, no, they're just knocked unconscious, right? Yeah, 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 she's not bleeding, actually. She's been knocked unconscious, and she'll be dragged to jail, wherever jail okay. is. Okay, yeah, doesn't no, matter. No. So, it is now Hess's turn. Um... Okay, well, I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna do a, a funny, and I'm gonna cast... Oh, wait, uh, was, did he have to make a roll so he didn't fall over on the marbles? <laughs> No, he pretty much moved past them. F. Um, I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with my quarter staff. My staff of healing, to be exact. Sure. Where is it? Staff of healing. Does it twelve hit? No, it doesn't. Okay, and then I am going to use my spiritual weapon to hit him. Go for it. Does That's a 12 a... hit? No, it doesn't. I would like to use my inspiration. Alright. 
Go for it. Yes, yes. Does a 15 hit? No, it doesn't. The Rakshasa yeah. just, like, beautifully skips through the, the motions of the attack and goes, with his fur just, you know, glimmering in the wind and uh, being devilishly perfect. Like, uh, that's what you're doing. Kawaii desu. Exactly. So, Donner, your turn. Okay. Uh, can't do anything to Rakshasa. Wait, yeah, get rid of the, get rid of the dog, then, maybe. Yeah, that's probably the only, yeah, he's got resistance, too. Actually, do I, but, this is where having oh. some sort of buff would be nice. Actually, why don't I, okay, uh, I'm going to use telekinesis, then. Sure. Um... And I am going to attempt to restrain the Rakshasa. Uh, it will not affect him. Like, I'll tell you, it, it will not affect him at all. Oh, okay, I thought, because it was the... Yeah, no, no, no. Like, if you were to manipulate an object yeah. to attempt to restrain it, I might allow it. But, right, uh... But, yeah. Uh, in that case, I will attempt to restrain the dog. Alright. So... Concentration. Um, it's a ability check with my spell casting ability versus their strength. All right. So I have to do a strength check, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go for it. Oh well, I do have a plus four. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You never know. No, I, I, I'm restrained. But like the candle stands there, stops and goes. Puh. Well, I have an excuse to do nothing now. Oh, I feel so sorry for the camera that's now. Oh. Oh. They, are, they are low wage employees, aren't they? Yes. So then, it would be the turn of a mister who just keeps running. Ah, da, da. Alright. He can run, but he can't hide. Ah, you never know. I you have seen this ability. I will find a fighter and stop him. You never know. So then. Oh, sh I should have just, just, should have just went after the. The, 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 no, the, 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 Well, Shafnium, it's your turn! Okay, well, I can't leave pause to her own devices, clearly, so I'm gonna have to go and pursue her. <laughs> and then you uh, find 50 oh. Gamelos surrounding you. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny, considering Paws went over to cover you after you went off to fight it alone. Yeah. So I uh, actually have sugar on me. Um, do you sugar? know what happens when dry sugar meets water? It no absorbs it. Yeah. It becomes sticky. Yeah, but so it's I'm not going, going to, to stop it. Like it's. I'm not... gonna get my sling. Oh God. I'm gonna. Yeah. No, no. Like seriously, Shafim, sticky sugar is not going to stop a strength eighteen canolot from moving. Oh. Like. Oh, his strength is 18. Yes. Oh, okay. Like it's... Um, I would argue it would work on pixies. Like, if you tell me there's a swarm of pixies, I'll say, yes, it works, but what are in canalots? Big, bulky, like, mastiffs things. So he's immune to poison. Yes, he is. And he's immune to... Uh, and he's immune to fire. He's not immune, but he does have a resistance. So when you deal four damage, he only takes two, and that's inconsequential. If I throw a holy symbol at him, will bad things happen to him? You would have to try to see. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to put a holy symbol into my sling, and I'm going to... I'll approach two squares closer, and I'm going to fire the holy symbol straight at him. Well... Roll to attack. No, you're going to go where all bad kitties go to jail. I'm gonna ready up my um. <laughs> my, cross, my, demon my bitch. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you do hit him. So give him the damage. <coughs> so he does take the damage, but uh, he doesn't stop nor appear to be hurt by it. He just. Bah! I, I can't even have an honest day of work now! People bothering oh, no, me! The holy symbol did nothing! No, it didn't. 
Okay. My next, my uh, next uh, character is gonna be like a rogue, and it's gonna be dealt around height. So none of this shit. <laughs> All right, in that case, I'm going to throw a flask of oil at his feet. Well, sure. Uh, then you to the high leaf balls. So I'm going to roll the Cestus sling again. Hit the thing. If Do you thing. cinch my fur, Shafnu. No, don't worry. I won't use fire this time. <laughs> this, this time. time. This you're time. Not, it's because you're not Raman, you <laughs> Okay, we are so not sure for the member of the party. <laughs> that's why. I'm with five damage, and he's now covered in oil. So there's, so he's gonna slip and slide. He might slip and slide on this banana peel. So, with that being <laughs> said, uh, Ravandil. Uh, okay. Hey, can I do say something cheeky? Since Robert is not here, can I use his javelin of lightning? No, you cannot. Oh, can I just add it the next time until he comes back, so I can have Yes, it well, yes. If you tell me this, then next time, yes. Okay. But you, so uh, you, but because the thing is, you need to tell me this stuff at the beginning, and you need to remember okay, you can only be attuned to three magic items at a time, no more than three. Uh, yeah, so that would be. Yeah, I mean, I only have uh, one. Maybe. Yeah, well, that's fine. But right now, you know. <laughs> So, okay, so, use your poo, Ravandil. Fail! Well, that's a hit. I don't... That's a, not, that's a fail! Well, last one is a fail. Finally, you fail. Okay, so that's two D sixes. And, uh, wait. A little damage. One, and two. Nice! So, so that's 36, 40. 90, still alive. <laughs> However, he is... Wounded quite seriously, and his eyes are, have now lost their mirth and is just snarling. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. But, well, <laughs> after Ravandil, it would be Poe's turn, but she's unconscious. Then the Rakshasa. So the Rakshasa has been injured. It has. Shaftim didn't even bother like throwing a healing word at me. <laughs> well, to try and give me a. a I could have done that. Turn. That is true. <laughs> well, the Rakshasa does whatever his mad person does when such things happen. He disengages. So one, oh, two, three. Itching. Yep. Yeah. Four. Wow. Five, Fucking six, coward. One, two, three, four. Where five, do you go? Which door? Six. Through the upper door, past the canalot. He's like, you handle it. You handle it from here, dog. And the dog is like, ugh. I'm not even getting paid for this shit. <laughs> then it's the Canalot. So, the one who's dragging Pose can easily move because Pose is unconscious. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four. Yes! So, Pose is officially in jail. Good. I got her. So. I am so unconscious and dead. <laughs> so, not dead, but you have been jailed. So, and when the candlelight is happy and he's like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. So he then didn't he didn't slip. He actually didn't. Let me see. It's a gigantic fucking mastiff. I thought they would slip with how heavy they are. They oh, do they also have four thing. legs. So they do. Yeah, the more legs you have, the more stable you are. Not like us two. That's like half. It. Right. I mean, I'll roll with advantage on the dexterity save. I guess a 15 would manage it. Even at 12, okay. if we were to. But he manages to go through the oil and move through and then go back. Like, ah, then somebody will have to clear it, but it won't be me! <laughs> so, in the... <laughs> So the other Canalot instead uh, looks at Ravandil and goes, Come on, man, I just need to capture one of you. And I miss you with a tongue. And I'm like, why? Ah, fuck it. I want to go home. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And he goes through the doors. 
Prove it over. So then, Hess, it's your turn. Which, which the upper one. Go through? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just follow them. All right. So as you follow him, an army of undead, bo no, no, not an army of undead monsters, but. So, yeah, hit him. Hmm. You do you manage that? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fi fi uh, fifteen squares. Yeah, I mean, uh, I do not manage it. Yeah, you are here, uh, so um, it's. Yeah, I'm gonna cast. In that case, I'm gonna cast uh, a spell. Hopefully one with concentration, right? No. <laughs> Shy! I was like, maybe she forgot! Um, I'm gonna cast... Um... What am I gonna cast? I guess I'll cast... Um, well, sorry. I guess I'll cast, um... Toll the Dead on the Dork. On the dog, dork, dog. Well, wisdom save. You're like expecting a cannibal to have wisdom. They do have wisdom. I am. Shit. I am surprised. I would have expect. I mean, they don't have intelligence, but they do have wisdom. They actually have plus three, but they fail, so it's full damage. Twenty-one. Yep, still alive though. It's like, ah, oh, oh, come on! I was, I stopped. Why are you doing this? Let me go. No. Uh, that's my turn. Alright. Donner! Okay. Um, I am just going to move. Um, oh, you know what? I what? bet I bet the Mind Flare is still somewhere over here. Yeah, but we don't know how far, and this is probably... Yeah, he's had a few turns. He only Let's has see. 10 hit points, though. Sometimes you just gotta let him go. Wait. I can only... 6 is 30. Yes. Uh, double, and then double move. Not... Um... Yep, yeah, I'll end there. Alright. I don't want to run the corner. So, the guy does blah blah blah, and blah blah blue, blah blah up and blah blah, uh, blah, blah down, and... What? Uh, blah, 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 yes, blah, blah, he does blah blah stuff. Uh, then, Shafnium! Yes. Can you find Pose? I uh, we're we're about to find out. So uh, I'm gonna go up, and what do I see? Well, you see two different directions. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. So my brain says it couldn't have gone that far, so it's likely here. But my heart says it's a long hallway, and I have a dash action so I could make that whole distance. Sure. Or you could use your dash action to move however many squares in one. Well, I can run. I can run this way and then look on my right. To see what's down each respective hallway, well, and then if I see yeah, something like, interesting. It's three squares. Okay, so there's nothing in particular in that direction. How about over here? A door. I don't you have know. have moved that's... like three actual squares okay. down here uh, so that you can check. I can dash again, but that would take up my action for the turn. <laughs> It would let me go all the way over here, though. Can yeah. I... Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I mean, and that... I'll peek around here. Well... There was a I... noise, and... Uh, There's and another door! Uh, well, clearly, okay. it has to have gone through one of those. Okay. Uh... I'm going to knock on this door very politely. Well, the door <laughs> is actually a stone door, and the door doesn't seem to want to budge. 
Is there a keyhole? There actually isn't a keyhole. God damn it. Uh, is there a riddle? There is no riddle, actually. It's a stone door, which doesn't appear to have a handle, and the surface is quite smooth, actually. Guys, I think we lost pause. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Better get that rogue ready. I mean, she's not dead yet. She's, she's unconscious, but she's not dead yet. Unconscious, and then the arms and legs of a beast with a terrifyingly long tongue. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is. No, going. no, no. That no, way lies okay, bad yeah. civilization, and the answer is no. And we'll stop that there, because trust me, I have seen things, so no. Moving on. <laughs> so, okay. moving on. Uh, I don't know what to do about a door, and I used up both of my actions with those two dashes. So, well, Ravandil! You what? are alone in the room! <laughs> it would be, it would be a pity if something <laughs> were to happen now, but no, nothing happens. No worries, Shane. I have my Misty Step, and I can use it to teleport in front of the Rakshasa. No, you cannot. Arcane Lock of a, of a cannon lot. Oh. Within 60 feet of him, you cannot oh. Misty Step. The uh, cannon Lock is a piece of shit. Yeah, I'm trying to think. But... You'll have to walk, like all common mortals do. Right, 10, 15, 20, 20. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Uh, come on, then I have 60 feet. Nah, I think I need to dash. Uh, that's 40 feet, 45, 50. Yeah, I'm behind the donor. Okay, no. so there, 45. You can make it to here. Alright. Yeah, but I don't think I can attack with the dash, right? No, you can't, but you can still make it here. Uh, wait. Uh, no, wait. Shit. If you didn't have magic resistance, I could have gone there. Use my meta magic uh, bonus action, cast fireball, but I can't. Shit. Yeah, no, you uh, can't. Why not? Because uh, Rakshasas are immune to magic. Well, yes, but you can cast it on the dog. Yeah, but he's uh, using the. Ah, no, wait, yeah, you, you would be using the dash action. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you so can I cast it in the dog. Yeah, go there, cast the fireball in this. Right here, right? Because if I cast it here, I'm going to get hurt as well. Yeah. No. Wait, fireball? Yes, not fire fire fireball. Okay. That's 20 fireball. feet. Yeah, it explodes. So, if I cast it here... Yeah, so off damage. at the end of a corner, yes. So if I cast it here, it still takes the damage and I'm safe. Yes. And none of us get hit here. See? Ravandil has a brain. Go for it, Ravandil! Yeah, it's time for big brain. Ravandil. Go, Ravi, go! Miserably fail, but go! So that's a what? Sorry, I'm... Well, I roll the dexterity saving throw, and I fail it, so give me full damage, and then I'll half it, because I have so resistance to fire. Roll. Ah, yeah, wait, I do have advantage on the roll. Give Eight. me a second. Yeah, no, I failed it. You have advantage. So it's a roll 86? Yep. Does it take a plus, a plus anything or it's just a... Just 86. Oh. So then it becomes 18, but I take it fully. Is, I is mean, it dead? I, no, it's not. Jesus! 64. Still alive. How tough are these? A Canalot has 120 hit points. Oh, shit. With that that's being... More than, that's more than the fucking Rakashan. Yeah, I know. The Rakash has 110, actually. How many hit points does he have left now? Uh. Well, I'll be honest, he's at half life. <laughs> oh my god! So, in the meantime, the Rakshasa uses its action to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and disappears! Yeah, Pose might be dead. Oh god. Yeah, because if it had been anybody else, but, yeah, no. <coughs> uh. So... The Canalot, well, he's like, I do have to give someone, to capture someone and bring them to prison, it's my job. So, Ravandale, do I hit you with 19? No, you do not. Oh, then I just move away. I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll stop here. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm happy I'm here. All right. Hess, your turn. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Well, go here with 30 and then... So, the door, the wait, the door in front of you is another smooth door made of stone without any handle or signs in front of it. I refuse to believe it's 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 already been locked. I try to push at it. So, as you try to push at it, the door does not actually budge. Okay, I try to I try to pull. It doesn't open because it doesn't have an handle. It is a smooth stone I, I, surface. I, I oh think I this is oh, what I'm saying. Guys. We wish to be your eyes. Like we said. It's been less than six seconds. I mean, it's been magic. <coughs> This is bullshit. Eh, uh, depends. I mean, it's a prison. I... Would you allow anyone in? I thought that... I'm, I'm gonna try to push open the door. Just break the door using brute strength. Well, give me a strength check. I mean, you could have be lucky. I'm not saying you can't, but... Wait, question. I cast the fire... Yeah, no. As... The no, it didn't. Mm. So, okay. well, that's just... Turn. So, Donner... Wait, I also hit at the door with my sword. That seems to be a better course of action. Give me the damage. Alright, you hit. Uh, can Ten. you move your ghoul one space back? It's not a ghoul, it's a magic sword. Sorry, magic sword. <clears throat> well, it's... You can sit in the same square as the magic sword. So, oh, okay, the door suffers 10 damage and you see a small gash appear on it. But it's uh, probably uh, going to need more hits. Actually, wait, Shade, I guess the fireball nearly. Did it take the 36 damage? No, it didn't. Because at that it's point, the Rakshasa the was wood. there and the door was open. It's, yeah. Also, it's not made of wood. Yeah, it's made of stone and the door kind of slides into the walls and out of it when it's... Uh, Hmm. It's like I am. Yes, I, I'm going to use telekinesis on the door. All right. And, uh, so that would be. Uh... Well, you can't try to move the object. Yes, you can. Well, you know what? I'll allow it. Yeah, no. I'll... So with an incredible strength of will, Donner kind of uses the force and lifts the door up. With the full That's power cool. of his strength, and well, as he does, you end up in a room where the two cannelot are standing guard in front of what appears to be a shimmering mirror of swords. Oh shit! Donner Skywalker. God <laughs> damn it! Why? Did... <sighs> we dash through the portal. We do not there, but we can't yeah. kill anything, huh? We just have to fucking go through hoops and hoops exactly. and hoops. Yeah. I mean, the two cannons are there. They're also kind of damaged. Yes, but they're not what we wanted to kill, though. We wanted to kill the Kashithar and the... Yeah. They are... Uh, does Hes see, see if I'm there? Or if yes. can, I, can, can I see... Can I see what's in the mirror? So, the mirror is a spiraling cloud of green, actually. But through the cloud, you do see the figure of... Uh, he uh, yeah, of Hesse. The figure of Pose being held by her neck by the Rakshasa who's grinning oh. so they're on the other side yes suppose suppose it's dead no suppose not yet not I yet the Rakshasa had to move get to the other side yeah. grab her up and technically next turn she might be dead However, uh, oh shit. as you do open the door, the Rakshasa turns to look at you through the mirror and narrows its eyes. It looks at Pose and then at you and snickers before uh, smiling brightly and going, Well, I just had to kill her. Nothing to say you can't bring her back to life afterwards, just as long as I don't see it. Then he slits poses throat and slams so. her through the mirror after he's sure she's dead, takes a bow and disappears from the plane. A bow? Yeah, he bows. Wow. He, he, he bows. Oh. I mean, his purpose, he had to kill Pose because it was the only way to get free of a binding. So, she's dead. Uh. 
bastard. And then he leaves. But he does okay. leave a body in the room. So... Still got a fucking fight <laughs> You, and also, here's where things get interesting. As you open the door, you realize the Canalot are just looking at you. But they do not actually appear to be hostile. Their tongues are back in their mouths, and they're sitting down. Fine. I'm not going to question it. I mean, as you do step inside, they go, Well, see? This is the best way of doing our jobs. Just let them step inside the prison by themselves. He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> No, you can revive her, thank god, yeah. Yes, because... wait, no, wait, I don't need to use <laughs> race. He's dead on me. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna be fine. Rex is the, the, the dead. Exactly. Okay. It's not, it's not undead, it's, it's, it's the good spell. Yeah, but okay, okay. you don't have Revivi 5, which, she's dead by less than a minute, you know. Well, Ray's dead brings her yes, back, but, but it means that the Here's people... the thing, Revivi Oh, okay, yeah. Like, just it's kind of, yeah, I'll kind of verify, I guess. Uh, so, by the way, Shaftium, the door in front of you slides open. And oh. Uh, <coughs> as does yeah, this that one. Uh, much easier. My next plan was to flirt with the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you step inside, Shaftium? I, I, of course I do. Well, as you and step I inside, well, the door behind you closes again. And uh, the camera of this one looks like, you know what, you're right. You open the door and they just step inside! This is genius! And the other <laughs> see? I knew it would work! Uh, yes. Uh, I revivify... Sure. Pose, so. Pose, you died for less than a turn, but in that turn of death, you were in a beautiful meadow, filled with trees and plant life. And uh, all of your family and friends and clan and all of the tabaxi were there looking at you. And smiling happily, you're like, "Oh, hello, Pose," and uh, and then you were brought back to life, I guess. Yeah. Uh, can I? So, so, so Pose is in this in this field, and then from up above, a giant chicken claw descends. <laughs> with the feet. No. Well, it def- wait. It's like a toy story. It's like the well, it depends. Uh, uh, listen, cr- drags you back into cruel reality. Because here's the thing, Pose. Do you do you go back, knowing that it's uh, Pose, uh, that it's uh, Hess that's bringing you back? You see this giant chicken in the background just looking down at you, all fluffy and puffy. Uh, doesn't matter. Revere yeah. if I have the nice bonus of not needing the soul to be willing to return. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You're like, wait, I want to stay right clock tung and you're back to life. Uh, uh, like pause is reassured to know that their afterlife is sort of secure, that that's what they will find out, but is definitely willing to come back and kill everyone who basically ruined their life. Yeah, fucking down with the work. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Pose, you open, you open your eyes, and you are in a lot. La- well, by the way, does Donner and uh, Ravandia step inside the room, or do you stay outside? Uh, stay outside! <laughs> yeah, I would stay outside. Okay. Now, this yeah, is taking a moment to take his breath, because holy shit. Uh, so, um, we're, we're going to stop this here for now. You are a sight for sore eyes. Uh, I thought I was a... Uh, I thought I was a wood elf, but what do I know? So, in the meantime, so, we'll stop this here for now because it's uh, late and uh, and it was an amazing start and just think about it, this wasn't the worst that could have happened. But we'll get there! We will get there! I am immensely unsatisfied. We didn't kill the lit, we didn't kill the elephant. We didn't kill the, sn- the 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 cat fucker. I know, but here's the thing. I don't think we killed anybody. No, you didn't even kill no. the You, you did didn't kill a cantaloupe. Either of this cantaloupe. No, one of them is at half health. The other well, is just no. under half health. I banished okay. one of them. Yeah. Oh, right. You did banish the bone claw. Technically, yeah. that's a, he's, he's not coming back. back. He'll have to commit suicide and come back in one to six days. <laughs> wow, yes, it's a bit Yeah, um, because before, it's... before the session ends, I would like to cast Remove Curse on myself before I forget. Alright, so you cast Remove Curse on yourself, and now you no longer risk having 
problems from short or long rests. Yes. All right. 